I, I forgot, forgot I turned, I turned that, that up. up. <laughs> Hi. How's, How's it going? going? Jesus. Jesus. We, we can, can never have a quiet moment, moment in this household. household. Never. To be, to be fair, fair, though, before I started up the stream, I did have this queued up uh, on my cell phone. And I was going to play it through the speaker. Then that happened. I don't, I don't think you guys heard. Ironically, ironically enough, too, too quiet. quiet. Give, Give me a second. second. Oh, oh, you're, you're hearing an echo. Ah. 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 Echo. echo. Hold, Hold on, on a second. second. Ah. <gasps> Yay. Hey, okay. All right. I think that might have done it. Is that, is that good? Did I do the thing? Oh, sweet. Okay. Um. Give me a minute. Now I have to go into my audio properties because now, now I can't hear anything. So I have to uh, re-enable so that I am monitoring and outputting. Here we go. On your off, monitor output, listen to thing. Hey, okay, I can hear it now. Sweet, I should probably do that with all the rest of my audio um, inputs just in case. Ah, there we go. Let's give a good old reset. There we go. No idea of how to get out from under the chair. For the love of all that is holy, <laughs> there you got in there somehow. You could probably get out. Anyway, I apologize. Uh, if it wasn't evident, I did a little bit of. Um, finicking around with the audio sources in my computer recently um and spoiler alert i'm gonna have to do it again <laughs> oh good golly good golly me all right well i have managed to fix it for now hopefully i can come up with a more um i don't know concrete way of uh doing what i was already you know doing before without breaking everything all right good thing we're on casual stream today otherwise this would have been like unfortunate <laughs> Anyway, I was just going to say, before I started the stream, I was going to queue up, like, a meme sound effect so that I could, like, you know, be, be goofy as I started the stream. It turns out I didn't need to because my, my, my stupid, dumb, dumb head decided to, you know, do that on accident. No, I, I, I was queuing up this. <laughs> and I was just like, that's what I was going to play. Then it was going to be funny, and you guys were going to laugh, and you are going to become my best friends. Uh, I can't, of course. Why would that happen? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a very good um, week. Just a couple of weeks. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm just kind of chilling out. Enjoying um, a good a and which is fine. Mm. Uh, I don't know. After that whole rigmarole and that stress, I kind of want to just chill. <laughs> I have, like, you know, I have farm stuff currently sitting off to the side, but... Eh. If Billy and Hat Kid were fighting each other with their umbrellas, who do you think would win? You know, again, I'd have to see a little bit more of the Billy Bust Up fighting. But I think both of them would, uh, you know, they both would know how to use their uh, umbrellas for evil. So, you know. Or good, depending on the deck. There we go. Uh, is there anything I should, like, you know, I could talk about or bring up while I'm uh, currently sitting here? Okay, well, give me a second. I'm going to go over to my user settings real quick. I've been playing Kingdom Hearts 358 and Second Days recently. Yikes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I say yikes. I don't know. Not a gigantic fan of... Uh, there. They, they dig Kingdom Hearts. I believe I have the um, the Discord audio working properly. So I'm jumping into the stream chat and I'm seeing whether or not everything like completely breaks on that end too. Um, looks like everything's working fine. But yeah. Why snatch your voice effect? <laughs> Why you do? Why you make it double? Three, five, eight days over two. That is awful. <laughs> Just call it 12, okay? 
We don't need everything to have like, it's like, mm, Final Fantasy X-2. It's like, okay, all right, I can accept that. <laughs> That's fine. Awa, says uh, Antoine. Hello, how's it going? Here you though, shall be covered in oil by the time I arrive. Mm -mm. Nope, no you won't. You absolutely won't. That is absolutely rude. How dare you? Anyway. You do realize that I have the band privileges and things like that. Come on. <laughs> Good job. That was like your 15 seconds of fame, quite literally. Good work, buddy. Hmm. Also, find a better hobby that doesn't include harassing live streamers. Because that sucks. I found a way from out under the chair. You know, all the uh, stories you're talking about with, like, getting stuck underneath the chair is reminding me of this one time when I, like... I didn't get stuck in chairs, but I do remember I used to, like, put my head through, like, the... You know, like, the hole in the back of, like, plastic chairs at schools? I remember um, I used to be able to fit my head through there in, in, and then, like, rearrange it and move it in such a way that, like, <laughs> teachers had a hard time, like, taking the, uh, you know, taking the chair off of my head. Which is funny, because, like, I knew how to get my head out of the chair. <laughs> I was capable of doing it just fine. But uh, they couldn't. And so I'd just be sitting there with a chair over my head, and they'd be like, Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh he's being a liability. Uh, okay, what do we do? <sighs> Should we get a janitor in here? Oh, oh no. We don't need to cut that off, do we? Oh. And I'm just like, no, you don't really know. <laughs> I'm just being a troll. What? takes place before Kingdom Hearts 2, and it takes place over 358 days. I don't... I'm not saying it doesn't make sense. I'm saying that the name's still stupid. <laughs> hey, Savannah, how's it going? I hope things are going pretty good for you. Uh, again, it's going pretty good now that we fixed a lot of our uh, audio-related issues, which was weird. Hmm. Yeah, the name's still very stupid. <laughs> fair. Very fair. Hmm. I mean, why am I saying fair? I agree. That's the thing I said. <laughs> but no, like, I, I get it. <laughs> you know? I, 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 make, I make joke, but I do get the name. It's fine. Um, I apologize, but I don't know how to pronounce any of that or read any of that. And it's kind of an English-only uh, chat, so if you would please, thank you very much. Uh, so what's going on on the, uh, the vast void that is the interwebs? Something that doesn't, like, soul crush me. I want to figure that out. Mm. Not, nothing that immediately... I'll try French. For the love of... English! <laughs> no hablo espanol. Freaking Christ. I kind of want to take a look at, like, what's going on um, tech-related news. Anything interesting? I'm kind of want to see Latin. No! For God's sake! I see this one Ars Technica uh, article that says, Why are there so many species of beetle? Wow! <laughs> you know, I'm sure somebody's interested. Uh, I have a picture of... Uh, hello, it's Kyle. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Pretty good. I it sound okay people. to you, right? The say... I sound okay to you, right? Um, perhaps a little quiet, but otherwise all right. Oh, um, probably because I turned off like the the auto gain on my um on my Discord. Very likely, I'm currently relying okay. on just the uh, the audio you know audio itself. I only just recently found out there was a bunch of stuff like that was like auto enabled onto Discord, despite the fact I shut it off all the time. Makes me angry. There. Let me see if I can um, adjust this a little bit. Or, here, let, let me see. Auto gain. Where, well, where is the auto gain? I'll, I could turn it back on at least for now. Um, automatic gain control. There we go. That, that'll probably up me a, a couple octaves. Yes, yes, it did. Neat. All right. So what you been up to? 
I just that. made some pizza. Ooh, tasty. Pierce, do you have pizza? An old RTS game that I uh, played a while back has a whole bunch of mods for it now, so I've been enthralled in that. Oh, neat. Uh, what RTS? Rusted Warfare. Oh. Uh, how long ago did that come out? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Am I asking the wrong question? It's it's uh, really simple though. It's uh -huh. pretty recent. Uh, 20, 2017. Oh, really? You know, I was, um, oh, there's this one, like, real-time strategy Star Wars game that a couple of buddies of mine have been getting back into, and, like, that came out in 2006. Old stuff. Hmm. Want me to speak Greek? I, what, what part of English? <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen so many uh, reports talking about Tesla cars that are like breaking down and doing stupid stuff. So that's funny. Karen is here. Hello. Not need to apologize. It's cool. I don't know what you're apologizing for. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Oh, oh yeah, Adova uh, said a thing. I have a picture of what it looks like under the chair. If you want, I can DM you the. I mean, I don't think I need to see that. Let's be real. Um, so I, I, I'm not really interested in seeing the picture. It's, it's good. I can, I, I can like you know, I'll take your word for it. There you go. Now the one thing that I've been laughing at recently. Is that um, Mr. Mr. Melon Husk, uh, or you know, Twitter as a whole? Um, there, there were a handful of a couple of occasions where people uploaded like footage of broken Tesla uh, cars, whether they be like Cybertrucks or whether they be uh, you know model something or others, Tesla models, the main ones, um, having like weird road breakdown kind of things. It was really cool and calming. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, the, apparently there was like copyright claim takedowns, like saying that, or like, I don't know, apparently the footage violated Twitter's terms of service as apparently, according to them, uh, which is hysterical considering the fact that like there's, I mean, aside from the person that owned the footage, there is no actual copyright involved with that. So like, and clearly, they had uploaded the footage themselves. Like, they didn't send a takedown notification on themselves. So, like, clearly, there was, like, some sort of intervention on high being like, Hey, are you making fun of Tesla? Stop it. Stop it. Don't make that trend. Get out. It's just like, dude, let people be critical. All right? Let people be critical of your shitty cars. Hmm. Very interesting. I've never thought about like a cool, uh, uh, a calm and, uh, you know, cool and calming underside of a chair. So, what was the other thing that I recently saw? Um,. I don't know. That, that seems to be the meta nowadays of people, like, sharing tweets that were deleted by the original Twitter author or, like, you know, by somebody who moderated them. And then people, like, you know, badgering on those things. Oh, I just recently uh, saw this, too. So there was apparently some footage of, like, I, I want to find... What is a crew reel? Because apparently a crew reel for... Uh, Coyote versus Acme was posted online. I want to look this up. What is a crew reel exactly? Um. Say um. The collection. What the? That that sounded very staticky, Pierce. Was that your end or mine? I think it might have been mine. 
Wow. Very interesting. Are, are you speaking through a, um, <laughs> a, a fast food clown? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> amazing. Let me troubleshoot it. Discord is dumb sometimes. No, that's fair. Now, again, Discord likes to turn on a whole bunch of, like, you know, voice filtering stuff, despite the fact that you don't want it on. I had that problem a little bit earlier. I'm just like, I, I know my voice quality. <laughs> Let me control. I want to control the horizontal and the vertical. Uh, it looks like the video was, yeah, okay, Warner Brother. it was originally uploaded to YouTube, but there was a claim that was made by Warner Brothers, and it was taken down. All right. I think there are some sources for some places where you can find it. I may or may not have found something that might have, uh, that might be it. Unsure if I'm gonna, in, yeah, I'm not gonna download it just because I'm terrified. Interesting. I, again, I don't really know what the definition of a crew reel actually is, though. So, like, what exactly? Is it, like, the film except, I mean, how much of the film are we talking? Sorry if I'm being a little bit quiet today. It's it's a lot of quiet, uh, quiet, do, you know, document and, and uh, research. Thought of something. Do you think Barnaby and Barnaby would be friends? Mm. Both of them can be counted as jokesters. I feel like one of the Barnabies would have to die in order for both of the Barnabies to be happy. Which, to be fair, there's plenty of time in the series to, for that to happen. So, we'll see what happens. Mm. Hello, I'm saying words now. Does this work? Uh, it does, but you, no. you're a little bit loud. Uh oh. Tiny I'll bit. be I'll be quieter. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. It's it, it's a little bit like <laughs> peaky and tinny on like on the top parts of it. So I, I don't know why. Me. I don't know why. I'm sorry. All I did was restart my computer and nothing changed. How strange. I I mean I can lower the you down to like seventy five or something. Sure. That'll do. Anyway, what the heck is a crew reel? Basically, it's a um, sizzle reel of all the behind-the-scenes stuff that people worked on for the movie, basically saying, hey, thank you for everyone who put in all your hard work to make this movie a reality. I sure can't wait for it to come out. Oh, okay. So this was, like, already pre-produced, and it was going to be sort of an advertisement of the fact that a lot of hard work went into the movie. And yeah, it, it shows people behind even... the scenes, like, um, setting up props and... Um, like building sets and things like that it's um it's mainly just something that you would see on like a behind the scenes dvd like a quick little sizzle reel of everyone setting things up yeah 
And yeah. um, of course, Warner Brothers decided to um, hit it with a DMCA because they really want to pretend this movie doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, it can't exist because otherwise they won't get their, you know, the, their funny, um, their funny tax write-off. Well, I mean, they already wrote off all of their movies for taxes um, for the year because the tax season ends April 15th and they took care of that a while ago. So if the movie was written off as taxes, like, it would have happened by now. And we've heard stuff from the um, uh, people who worked on it that they're apparently still in talks to try and get the movie released. So I'm not sure it actually was fully tax written off yet. Okay. I mean, all right. So technically speaking, it sounds a heck of a lot like... I mean, it sounds like they have an idea of maybe using the footage, and that's probably why they're being as defensive about it as they are. Or it's just spite. Like, Either not way, sure it's not a great like. look, and it would have been best if they just didn't touch it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Because, like, I mean, I, I guess an official statement would be nice, I guess. You it know? sure would. It'd be nice if they just straight up came out and said, like, hey, no, we're not releasing the movie. Fuck all you. We're not releasing the movie because it doesn't meet the same standards as The Flash and Space Jam 2. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could stand those, uh, you know, up to those standards. Good God. Yeah. Uh, Canito I mean... Pet. Isn't that that one weird axolotl looking thing with legs? I mean, Warner Brothers did at least have one good movie that came out last year. But the only reason it was good, I'm pretty sure, is because a lot of people don't even realize Warner Brothers was involved at all. What was the movie? Barbie. Oh. Huh. I rest my case. Interesting. <laughs> uh, who were who was the director involved with that? Um, that was Greta Gerwig. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I'm, I'm just trying to think, because... There's probably like a chain of command or something that just didn't pay attention during that time, and you know they managed to skirt past a whole lot of bullcrap. Um, the Barbie movie actually was moved up. It wasn't supposed to come out until um, later in the year. The movie that it took the um, release slot from was Coyote vs. Acme. It was supposed to come out when Barbie did, but they moved it around. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Um, by the way, Greta Gerwig, she's a really, really good director. She also directed Lady Bird and Little Women. Um, they are very, very good films. I recommend. Interesting. I have not heard of either of these things, unfortunately. They're good. Hmm. They're kind of like indie art movies. So. Uh, ah, okay. Well, that explains you, you why Barbie turned out the way it did. <laughs> but it's good. She's she's really good. Nice. Um, yeah, I found a file on a certain website that hosts, uh, you know, a lot of things for the sake of archival, and it may or may not be the Coyote vs. Acme crew reel, maybe. Um, I don't I've know. I've seen the crew reel before it was taken down. If you DM it to me, I can verify if it's it or not. Uh, okay, well, I'll go ahead and shoot you the link. I mean, also, it says that it, you know... It's saying that this thing was uh, came out in, like, November, but, like... Yeah, it did. Maybe... It's been up for a while. Oh, it has? What the fuck? Yeah. Warner Brothers only got around to doing it now because they are a very professional company. Oh, okay. You know, that's kind of why I feel like this is slightly based around spite. Or maybe, maybe they're, like, in, in such deep talks at this point that perhaps... Perhaps they are actually thinking about it being like, all right... There's enough spin on this movie now, and everyone's going to want to come out and see it at this point. So, yeah, sure, we'll release the movie. But we got to, like, you know, we got to start doing some cleanup. Because, you know, th those extra features aren't going to pay for themselves. If anything, I'm surprised they didn't go after the pace bin link that leaks the entire plot of the movie. Hmm. I mean, that would require somebody to be really invested or interested in it. Yeah, but, I mean... It's the plot of the movie that's kind of important. Yeah, but in order in order for people to actually, like, I mean, it is kind of important, but you have to be really dedicated and interested in reading about the synopsis of the movie in order for you to actually, like, you know. I guess the, the amount of effort it would take to actually, like, ingest the script of the movie as opposed to watching the movie, I think that would be enough to kind of steer people away, I suppose personally 
Ah, yeah. that that's it. Okay. Yep, that's that's the one you found it. All right. Well, we'll see whether or not there's any sort of like you know takedown on this file specifically. I doubt it. Um. Oh, I just I, news, I just checked. Oh. This thing is only two minutes, two and a half minutes. Yeah. They're so they are butthurt about two and a half minutes of footage just floating around. Yeah. Oh, I hate them. Yep. Um, so in other news, of speaking of things being shut down and never seeing the light of day ever again, um, the 3DS and Wii U <laughs> um, online infrastructure is being shut down forever tomorrow. Yeah. So if you want to go and play online Smash Bros. 3DS or Wii U or Kid Icarus Uprising multiplayer or Luigi's Mansion 2 multiplayer or any of that other fun stuff, um, do it now because you're not going to be able to anymore. Well, not in any official capacity, I guess. Yeah. Or, like, uh, and, visit a friend's uh, town in Animal Crossing New Leaf or anything like that. Oh, uh, that's so stupid. Yeah. Um, cough, pretendo, cough, cough. Anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nova, I know I, I know what Kanito Pet is. I've, I have looked it up, and, uh, yeah, is the weird axolotl-looking thing with legs. I've said it many times. That is literally what it is. And I think we've talked about it before. Um, yeah, I think it's... It's interesting, but it's interesting in the whole, like, you know, it does a whole bunch of funny computer tricks behind the scenes and makes you think, ooh, the program is sentient. Oh, God. Which, That's you know, just Bonzi Buddy with extra steps. Well, I mean, it's Bonzi Buddy, except slightly less adwarish. You know, intentionally trying to be creepy instead of Bonzi Buddy, who was intentionally trying to be like your friend. Okay, that's just Cortana with extra steps. <laughs> No, not, which not, Cortana we not, the, not the Halo Cortana, the Windows 10 Cortana. Oh, yeah. No, I can agree with that. I don't, you know, I... Well, we I, have I to specify think, now. Yeah. I don't even think, like, even if Cortana was, like, a legit thing, I don't even think I would want... See, I've learned something. Um, I forget where it was where I originally heard this, but I agree with this completely. Um, I feel like, as, you know future generations aren't really being taught how to use computers. Uh, they're being taught how to use interfaces. They're being I, taught how to download apps from an app store, but they don't know how to actually navigate file structure or do anything on a computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the more I think about it, the more I think like that's a genuine problem because, I mean, the these these interfaces and these apps, they were, pro they were coded and programmed by somebody. So, like, you know, somebody's got to be in charge of making these things and making them run and making them clean and clear. Uh, and and knowing a thing or two about good interface uh, design, which is not something I think that we're telling people how to do. Like, well, it, it's kind of like instead of teaching people how to fish, we're teaching people how to go and buy fish. Yeah, you know? because that makes money. Yeah, and that's that sucks. I don't like it. On the one hand, I do like how convenient technology has become nowadays, where you can just sort of turn off your brain and just use the technology in front of you. But I don't like uh, the fact that I can't look further into it and learn more. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's not exactly a future-proof idea. Mm -hmm. Um. And so that kind of scares me when it comes to. Um, oh God, what were we talking about before I went into that diatribe? Because it, it directly relates. Coyote versus Acme? No, not Cody versus Acme. It was um, something else. Oh, we were talking about... Um, Ken, we were talking about Kenito Pet, actually. What was... Oh, and Bonzi Buddy. Oh, yeah. Amazing Digital Circus. Uh, not not quite. Good show, though. If I wonder how closely it, it will follow address, the light novel. I don't want to see it, though. Yeah, I've, I've heard that it... The, it does the whole address thing unless you uh flip the streamer mode on and so then it hides a bunch of things that it doesn't want to show off to the world so that is a thing <laughs> suddenly the animator was revived from a fatal heart attack <laughs> i do wonder how closely amazing digital circus will follow the light novel is there a light novel it's based on a short story called i have no mouth and i must scream it is a lot darker oh. than the Amazing Digital Circus is. Okay. And there's absolutely no way they could possibly adapt the ending of that story because, oh my god. 
but um, I want it's a very clear inspiration, and the uh, creator has uh, not been shy about saying that at all. Um, you can absolutely see the parallels. I I've seen I, I saw one tweet by Gooseworks recently, and I think they said they said something like. Uh, you know, I can't wait for people to uh, see that the Amazing Digital Circus will be nothing like the pilot. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, oh boy. boy, here we go. I'm not sure what Ramshackle is, Nova. Let's see. What was the other thing that I wanted to talk about, like, technology-wise? Um... You know, know Furbies are still being built. Why? I don't know. <laughs> what is the purpose of this one? Huh? That's scary. I don't know. But the last new generation of Furby was released in 2023. Yeah. I mean, I've seen some of the newer Furbies with like those LED screens, and when they are off, they are terrifying. Someone keeps buying these. I I hope to sacrifice them to a volcano. <laughs> We're satiating some, you know, eldritch god in a volcano somewhere with Furbies. Because if we don't, er Kirby Cthulhu is going to come out and eat us all. Yes. Uh, it is an animated pilot that dropped yesterday. I don't know if I saw it. Maybe I saw, like... Ah, okay. I've seen some teases and things on Twitter, but I haven't actively gone and watched it. Uh, they got a Kickstarter. Eh. Hold on a second. I'm going to take a gander at it real quick. Uh, do they have it set up yet? Uh, okay, 706 backers. Last updated t April 6, 2024. Okay. And I think they they donated about eighty six thousand Canadian dollars. I think is this just f funding the pilot? I guess so. All right. I wonder how much it's going to take to make like the entire freaking show. Then hmm. your favorite line is beans. I've not seen that line, but I mean, who hates beans? If you hate beans, you are not a friend of mine. Because your beans don't dance, and if they don't dance, then... God, my attention span. Beans are good. Uh, depends on what kind of beans and also how you prepare them. Like beans? beans? What the f... <laughs> beans, what the fuck? Refried beans are good if you mix them with beef, and then you also put some taco seasoning and some chili in there. It, it tastes really good. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, man, I don't know. My my mom, on several occasions, has made, like, cowboy-style beans, which is basically you buy a bunch of different types of beans, you throw them into some strange, like, savory gravy thing, and then call it a day, and I'm like, eh. Doesn't that's, help that's that... like those really weird parties that, you know, that people sometimes do, where it's like, hey, guys, it's a potluck, bring your own food. And then you think, oh, okay, so I could just go bring like a Costco pizza or something. And then the person's like, no, everything that everyone bought gets thrown into this one pot, and then we all just eat whatever's in there. That kind of sounds like the Stardew Valley soup. Yeah, basically that. Whatever that is. And uh, I have never been to a party like that, and that's terrible. I've only it's seen all... them that exist in college movies from the 80s. I don't know if they are still done. Uh, I think... Uh, our, our senses of health, I feel. All right, no, I I changed my mind on that. I was thinking like, no, our sense, our our feelings of health that, from the '80s have definitely changed, and I feel something like that probably wouldn't be allowed or even wanted nowadays. Never mind, no, because I've heard of some really filthy parties that have had terrible things happen at them. So, um, hmm. I'm trying to think. It's all fun and games until you find someone's shorts in your stew. Oh, God, you're right. Someone totally would do that. You know, it's just like, <laughs> take a look at this. I put a thong in the stew. Pretty but good. why? <laughs> because frat boy and whatnot. Because it's funny. 
God, that reminds me of that one. Uh, you know, maybe it's because we're talking about you know college age stuff, but that reminds me so much of that clip from uh, Harold and Kumar. <laughs> maybe we should get some marijuana. Uh, that that'd help them out. Marijuana. But why? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Favorite character is Baby in Trash Can. Hmm. It's all fun and games until you find stew in your stew. Oh yeah, right. That's that's even worse. <laughs> We're just like, what? God, I wanted prime rib. What is this crap? I'm trying to think. Like, what was the last? I mean, every party I've been to, it's usually somebody coming in with like a nicely well prepared ingredient, or at the very least, like you said, you go to Costco and you buy pizza. You can never go wrong with a Costco pizza. I've never had Costco pizza, so I need to lies, lies, and just so sorry that happens sometimes. <laughs> Relax. You know we're nobody's making enemies here. You're good. Tell me, is Mr. Sam's Club the uh, you know? Do they have a better pizza than, uh, than no. they do? Yeah. They don't. Because yeah. Sam's Club is owned by Sam, and Sam is also the owner of a place called Walmart, and Walmart is not good, so... Yeah. I don't know. My opinion on Walmarts and stuff like that, I, I mean, I still think they're bad, but it's also one of those, like, I'm looking at the uh, juggernaut that is Amazon, and I'm a little bit worried and concerned in a lot of ways, like, for that, more than walmart you know i'm not saying that like either of them wins here i'm just saying that like i don't know if there's one that i fear more it's probably jeff bezos that's fair i'm just saying it's still bad right i prefer like and also don't get me wrong i know that there are a lot of things that are produced in this world that do require uh a collaboration of a lot of product and resources and that does require big size productions and then those big size productions tend to distribute out to you know big name brand companies get that and i know that small mom pop shops very likely aren't going to do a whole bunch of the things that are capable in something like a walmart or a target but I still like mom pop shops for a lot of good stuff because yeah. they, they can do a lot of things, man. Mm. Oh, you know, it's one thing. Let me get on my soapbox for a second here. Ever since the pandemic, um, now th this has got nothing to do with taste. It has everything to do with the quality of what's being made. In my location, the bread manufacturing has just fallen off a cliff. Like it was bad before, but then after the uh, pandemic happened, it just seems like the quality of bread is just completely on the ground. And I'm talking That's like, weird. I'm, I'm talking like, I swear what they're doing is like, they've maybe they've changed up the way they work things in the factory. And they've like always got a back end of like bread product frozen in a freezer somewhere. That's what I feel like. Cause like, and, and you know, they just thaw it out and then put it on the shelf. Cause the bread is just absolutely terrible quality. That kind of um, sucks. Uh, I mean, it's either that or they've laid off so many people that the only people that work there don't care anymore. Um, I've gotten several loaves of bread. I get them and then I cut into them a little bit later and I find that there's a gigantic raw center in it. And I was like, how do you... what? How long have you been making bread? Good God. Like, th things in the factory probably didn't change that much overnight. Mm-hmm. Baby can do the worm. Man, I haven't thought about the worm in forever. Like, who who does the worm as a dance move anymore, aside from gymnasts? I hate how Minecraft now has paid stuff in a paid game. Wait, huh? What are you going on about? <laughs> They're using computers. Ah, yes. Computer made bread. <laughs> that, uh, is that a, hold on. Is that a reference to my, uh, my funny bread thing? 
Funny bread story, go burr. The Minecraft Marketplace? I haven't actually heard about that. Let me look that up. Uh, no, Minecrafty Marketplace. No, shush. What the heck are you? Let me see here. Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I immediately hate it! That Holy sounds quite shit. Bad. Oh, God. So I scroll down, and the first thing I read is get mine coins from the in game store. <laughs> I'm immediately upset. Jesus. Explore the ever growing catalog of in game store. Exchange your mine coins for your favorite creations. Have fun. Really, that's all there is to it. No. It's mods, but paid. Look, I'm not against paid mods, all right? It's just a matter of the distribution needs to be proper, and also the people that make the mods need a good, uh, you know, a, a good cut of it, all right? I've heard a lot of people that have, you know, crapped on that kind of thing. I'm okay with it to a point. But you gotta do it right, man. Um, oh, no. No, I, I, I hate that. <laughs> I hate yeah. that with a fiery passion. I'm going to be sticking to Java for the foreseeable future because the Minecraft marketplace isn't in Java. Oh, is it not in Java? Well, I mean, dude, if, if Mojang and Microsoft could, they would kill off the Java version immediately. Yeah, but they know that if they do that, then everyone would riot because it's the Java version. And uh, that's, that's how Minecraft started. Right. But I know that... Um... <laughs> Technically, technically speaking, the one that they've coded in like C plus or whatever the heck is the superior version that has a lot more flexibility from a code perspective. It's just like there have been so many promises that have been made in the Java version that they can't break. And that mm -hmm. they've kind of roped themselves into a scenario where they can't do much about it. Yeah, just like, and, oh, and well. the Java one is the one that has the Disneyland server. So I'm, I'm, I know where I'm sticking. Oh, there we go. Yeah. The best version is Raspberry Pi edition. Ha is it? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I am pressing X to doubt. Well, hey, I don't know. Actually, Raspberry... I See, I have not really bought a new Raspberry Pi simply because, like... I mean, it's just... It's so expensive. Which is hilarious because that was entirely the opposite of what it was supposed to be. Uh, right, first of all, stupidly expensive. Two, um, for whatever reason, the Raspberry Pi Foundation, they just do not like to make enough inventory to cover, like, you know, all the institutions that want to buy them and also all of the individual markets and, like, you know, the individual uh, sale people. And so... We end up in the scenario where we're just stupidly bottlenecked and we're waiting for them to send out hardware. And then usually scalpers come in, you know, snake, scoop up all of them and then throw them onto eBay and like charge an arm and a leg for them over there. I see them being, I see the most recent Raspberry Pi 8 gigabyte one. It's being sold for $80 at Micro Center. Oh, these things used to be $35 as a base price. Yikes. I mean, it's got good stuff in it. Don't get, don't get me wrong. But, hmm. uh, that's, let me go, that's too much. Well, let me look at the technical specs real quick. Uh, yeah, I'll just stick to my PC. Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, it's like when you get to a certain point, it's like you might as well just uh, go for... I've heard of a bunch of people that have been talking about... Um, there's a lot of computers and like used stuff out there that you can just buy up that you know old pcs are more or less the exact same power as these suckers currently sitting here the only difference is their architecture isn't really being used by microsoft much anymore but you know who is using that hardware linux and that's the entire point of raspberry pi so why don't you just go and buy one of these tiny computers that I've just been sitting around in a warehouse somewhere not doing anything and kicking up dust and just, like, put it to good use. That's a thing you can do. Yep. 
Oh, I suppose it won't have like the brand new Bluetooth bull crap on it. Okay, whatever. I oh no, who cares? It. Yeah, it's like, what? Well, I, I can connect things with cables. I know how to use a wire. Okay. Why are you doing this to Why me? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Somebody shoot me. Yeah, if the hardware gets to the point where it's like 70, 80, 100 dollars, at that point, I'd rather just save up a few more hundred dollars and then buy a real console. Mm -hmm. Like like a Steam a Deck or something. A real console, a real PC kind of thing. You know? A graphics card for your existing PC. Bingo. Dude, seriously. Like, if I were to go over to NVIDIA... Um, if I were to go over to NVIDIA's site right now, just out of curiosity, going over to the graphics card section, let's take a look at their, their current series. 40 series line. Let's go over to all buying options. Um... Currently, oh, they start at. Currently, you um, can you can buy a Nvidia GeForce RTX 4060 Ti for four hundred dollars. That's not bad. Like, really? And dude, 4060. I'm currently rocking a 3070 right now, and I'm currently like doing a whole bunch of like fancy schmancy stuff on my PCs right now. Yeah, you don't need to have out. like a 40 anytime soon. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why I'm not upgrading, because the 30s are just fine. I have a 3060, and I'm able to play Final Fantasy VII Remake at 60 frames per second with max settings, so I'm good. I don't need to upgrade anytime soon. The only thing that's bottlenecking me a little bit is that I do a little bit of stuff related to VR. You know? That's it. Like, VR is the, the one thing that might make me consider going and picking up a 40 card. That's about it potentially but there needs to be like i think there needs to be more content for vr first maybe i don't know some of the content some of the content there is good enough for me like some um, of the stuff there is really really impressive like resi 4 vr and um, half-life alex are really really cool oh yeah well half-life alex is really a test of uh, vr's capabilities though especially mm -hmm. with my setup where i was trying to both stream and also have a uh, a you know, character avatar on the screen at the same time. Mm -hmm. Half-Life Alex did not like that. <laughs> at all. Um, what other, like... Here, let me go over to my VR games list. I want to see what's the most, like, intensive stuff I've got. I just got the mod for Half-Life Alex that just makes it play like Half-Life 2. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's a non-VR mod. It lets you just play it with legit just the Half-Life 2 control moveset. Oh, that's got to be, like, criminally easy. <laughs> it's really, really weird, because you could tell the game was designed for VR. Mm -hmm. So when you take that away, you're just playing it with a regular keyboard and mouse. It's just like, huh. Hmm. I'm sure it probably feels a heck of a lot easier. Some parts do. Some parts feel like they were definitely made for VR, like some of those puzzles where you have to move those globes around. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. That's a bit tricky. Um, looking through here, I got a lot of like really old VR related games. I'd say VR Chat, but I mean VR Chat, VR Chat Does will that really crash. Count? VR Chat will crash on like anything. Frankly, I was actually, running it the other okay. day. I was running it there the other day. There is one. Crashed. There is one VR thing that I actually am really, really interested in that is pretty awesome. Oh, yeah? Um, Dolphin VR. Oh, yeah. Have you ever tried that? Um, I haven't tried Dolphin VR, I don't think. But I do think I... Oh, man. D did I? I think I tried a very early, early version of Dolphin VR-esque kind of thing where I tried running, like, GameCube games in uh, in VR. That was kind of funny. What's that really sounds funny, pretty cool. What's really funny is that I, I think I tried playing WarioWare on there, and uh, I got to learn a little bit about how graphics are rendered in WarioWare in that they really only use about as much processing power as they have to, and so they lock it down to only, like, you know, the 4x3 square, that the screen will actually allow you to see. And then 
to the left and to the right of everything, like, it dynamically calls out anything that isn't on the screen. So you're just watching everything, like, load up on the left and the right side of the screen as you're running around as Wario. Nice. And you're just like, man, this is freaky. <laughs> That's honestly kind of insane. <laughs> but, um, like, I think I, I tried using that um, either on a really old uh, Oculus Rift dev kit or on the original HTC Vive. And I think at that time, my thought was, this is really uncomfortable and I don't like wearing this headset while I'm playing GameCube games, so what's the point? <laughs> like, I could just play a GameCube game and not in uh, VR in 3D. And I would be just as happy. <laughs> So. I hear you, but um, there are two games that I think actually work really, really well in VR, and it's kind of criminal that nothing has ever been done with it in an official capacity. I think I know what one of them might be. Um, the first one is F-Zero GX. Ooh. Yeah, I can see that. Because, because in that game, the camera is basically from one angle all the time anyway, so it actually works really, really well when you have a VR headset on because you're basically just staring in the one spot You know, and you just have everything whir past you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. it minimizes the like um, motion sickness that can happen with VR. I I totally see that, yeah. And the other one is um, Ocarina of Time. Really? Okay. Yeah, that one surprisingly is a really, really good fit for VR because you're basically just playing it with a regular controller and you just have the headset on and then you just have this little papercraft link running around in front of you. I suppose. Um, there is one game that it would need some doctoring, but I would love to play in VR. Um, and that's... Uh... Hold up a second. B brain... Uh... I'm just trying to remember exactly what it was. Ah, uh, yeah. Metroid Prime. Oh, yeah. Metroid Prime would be perfect. I would love to play Metroid Prime in VR. Are you kidding me? That, that sounds cool. awesome. That would be amazing. I don't know how you would roll into a ball, but... <laughs> well, I, I mean, think... when you roll into a ball, it would just have to pull the camera out the same way that it does, like, in the game. Well, I suppose, but, like, you have to you have to minimize a little bit of the, the stomach churning, and I feel like that would be a little bit stomach churning. Yeah, probably. Either that or they could just, you know, bend your spine into a ball in real life somehow. I feel like that would kill you. Eh. Maybe just a little bit. I mean, immersion. <laughs> I'd be fine with it. So out of curiosity, uh, I'm going to go over to the... I want to go over to the graphics cards for the 30 line. And I want to see, like, how cheap it gets there. Because let's be real. You only really need, like, basically a 30 card and up with technology nowadays. Yeah, if you have a 30 card, you're going to be absolutely fine running anything really during this gen. Uh, the cheapest one that you can get your hands on is an MSI GeForce RTX 3050, which getting on the floor there but you can get that for about 220 bucks that's pretty good and if you wanted to get a 3060 card uh you can get one from zotac for about 280 like i get 3060 and 70 are just fine you know yeah you know, and for most people and you can run basically everything so um mm -hmm. yeah just get that instead of a ps5 you don't need one <laughs> right. And Honestly, again, actually, I, um, for for a hundred freaking dollars, I could go and uh, pick up, you know, a, a super Raspberry Pi sort of setup. Oh, you know what's frustrating? These things have gotten so powerful and so like unnecessarily chonky that they now recommend that if you're going to be a power user, you should probably buy a like a heatsink and a cooler with them. Just get a PC. <laughs> Just buy a PC at that point. Come on. Actually, um, to further emphasize, just get a PC instead of a PS5. Um, have you ever been to the Wikipedia page for PlayStation 5 only games? 
Uh, it's the page for games that are only released on PS5 and are, have never come out on any other system. Well, let me go over to the PlayStation 5 only games page and take a look at it. Because, holy hot dang, that is a very small list. Okay. <laughs> There's literally only 12. Yep. Yep, I was and just going to say, these I can almost only... count that on my two hands. And some of these games are only timed exclusives, so they are pending removal from this list. Right. Horizon is eventually going to be no longer exclusive. I know that. Yeah, Horizon um, is going to come to PC. You know Seven Rebirth is going to come to PC. Demon yeah, Souls, right. is it's debatable if that even counts as an exclusive, because that is a shot-for-shot -shot remake of a PS3 game. So, honestly, the only games... Oh, it's Spider-Man 2 as well. I feel like that's... At some point, that's going to come out for PC. Yeah, ditto for Stellar Blade. Um, that's going to so, come to PC probably because that wasn't developed by Sony. Rise of the Ronin, that wasn't developed by Sony. That's going to come to PC probably. So real, Quantum Error, that's probably going to come to PC. We're, once the we're almost getting to like, We almost have only enough to fill up like a single hand to count for like you know PS5 exclusives. Uh, yeah. Basically, the reason why it's called PS5 is because that's how many exclusives it has. <laughs> yep, five exclusives. And one of them is Astro's Playroom. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> yep, I hope you really like Astro's Playroom. <laughs> and even then, you know somebody's going to emulate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I guess you have also unlimited play Silent money, Hill, the but short your message, tech which work at is all, a game. Or your tech works amazing and uh, no more problems, but you're poor. I mean kind of how i live right now but <laughs> i oh, mean that's, oh yeah, that's I, an easy question i would probably go for the second one because like i i actually know quite a few people that live like that who are just like yay all of my technology is great and shiny and it works just how it's supposed to be now excuse me while i go and prepare my like seventh ramen cup you know um i'd go with the first option personally really yeah. Okay. It's quite simple. If you have unlimited money and my but your tech doesn't work, I still have unlimited money, so I can simply buy tech that does work from other people. Yeah, but yeah, well, then it becomes your tech and it stops working. No, say, see, yeah. what I actually do is I buy the license to use their tech, but technically they still own it. I'm simply buying a license to have it oh, in my vicinity. So, so you do nothing but rent. So technically, I'm not owning it, and it's not my tech. So it does work. Mm. And I can do that because I have unlimited money. There we go. Yeah, no, 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 no. I wasn't even thinking about renting. No, you're right. The first one might actually be... Because, yeah, you're thinking in the long run. And that's that's smart. Unlimited money, you, you could basically do anything. Oh, I like that. Let's see. What is... Uh... Trying to take a look around here. Boy, I've, I've actually been streaming and doing, like, pretty much nothing for an hour. <laughs> you know what? That is that. That is the crux of the casual stream. Yep. Just sitting around talking about nothing. It's nice. No plans. Head empty. Uh, well, what else is going on over here? Hey, you want me to fill your head with nonsense? I can talk oh, sure. about Kingdom Hearts some more. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, so, um, <laughs> maybe, but will that change your heart? <laughs> also, Nova <laughs> says, you broke my question. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I'm, you know. I'm a big fan of cutting the knot when it comes to questions. Mm -hmm. I mean, isn't that basically what all genies do? Yes. <laughs> You're just like, okay, yeah, sure. Have all the donuts in the world. <laughs> Nova says, I will eat Kingdom Hearts. Which one? Mm -hmm. That That's a very complicated question. Yeah, One's are you going to eat the fake, you... the fake one from Kingdom Hearts 1, the fake one from Kingdom Hearts 2, the improperly summoned one from Birth by Sleep, or the real one that became corrupted and then fixed in Kingdom Hearts 3? All. All, okay. <laughs> Answer is all. Well, you are going to be busy. Oh, that reminds me. I just recently saw a video from Hugbees. Um, he was covering the story of, like, 
a guy who I guess is, I think it was a French guy who nobody really knew exactly how or why, but he he was born with this condition where he just couldn't stop eating. And the dude like actually had like the I don't know, he he had the ability to eat like several people's meals in one sitting and like he wouldn't be affected by it and like he just got progressively worse and worse and worse as he got older so he's point. french kirby kind of except in real life and disgusting hmm. um but i remember like th th this is a long freaking video with a lot of different parts to it uh but there was one point where he was i think he was signing up for something like the army or something like that and like he, i forget exactly how this happened but somehow he ended up in in the basically in the army and he was getting like four people's rations a day actually no per meal four rations people like you know uh, of people's rations for a, a, a meals per per day or something like that he was eating four people's meals in one sitting which was absolutely insane um and by the way Keep in mind, th this is like military rations, and these things are supposed to be like super calorie chock full. So technically, you were supposed to like eat one, and you were probably fine for like a good five days. Um, yeah, at least realistically. Um, but anyway, eventually he got pulled aside by the uh, the, the medical teams involved with them because it's just like, why is this person eating four of these uh, rations in a single sitting? What is happening? Um, and I guess, like, talks came about, and eventually they decided to turn this guy into, like, one of their top spies. Uh, because he's got that ability to go and, um, eat anything, including things he probably shouldn't be eating, including, like, metal. And so, what they did was they handed this guy, um, a message inside of, like, a little wooden box thing. And they said, okay, so here's what you do. You take this little wooden box, swallow this thing whole. Then, we need you to somehow get yourself out to uh, this one camp. Like, I don't know, this one town. We need you to get into their military base. And we need you to, uh, you know, d dispel that message from your body. And then, we want you to take that message and hand it off to somebody who is currently sitting in their prison cells. Um, and he's just like, you can count on me, boss! Um... And so then he went out to try and uh, get there. But the problem was, he wasn't a very good spy. Because the first thing that he immediately did was he was being like, you know, Boy, gee, howdy, I sure do love being in this country. Hey, does anybody know where the, uh, you know, does anybody know where the military base is? Can you please point me in the direction of the military base? <laughs> Which, you know, that didn't raise suspicion at all. Uh, on top of that, he didn't know a lick of their language, so... Uh, so it, then, funny enough, he ended up being arrested and thrown into prison. Probably the same one that uh, he wanted to get into to share the message. Um, and then after being interrogated, he finally spilled the beans and said, like, okay, sorry, no, I, I, I am. I. Oh, and also, all of this is taking place at the exact same time that he's still hungry and still eating a really creepy amount of food. Um, but anyway... No, he finally admits it, and he's just like, okay, yeah, all right, I'm a spy that was sent out from uh, this one particular country, and I was sent here to uh, hand you this particular, you know, th this particular note that I've got in my stomach. And they were like, ew, also, we need that note. And he's just like, but, and he's like, no, but nothing, this could be valuable war information that we need, okay? You're dispelling, like, you are expelling that note, and we are reading it. Um, so eventually, he did, and they did get, uh, the thing back. They opened up the little, like, wooden container, and they took a look at the note. And as it turns out, <laughs> uh, the, the people that sent him on this secret mission, uh, they knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> uh, and the message literally said nothing. Like, or at least nothing substantial. Basically, the message, uh, boiled down to just, Hi, how's your day? I hope you're having a good time. I hope, like, you know, I, I hope things are treating you very well. We should get coffee sometime. Or something to that degree. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, let's let's be real. The reason why they sent this guy on a long ass military mission was not because they thought that he could do it. It was because they wanted to be rid of him. <laughs> yup. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, <laughs> that's terrible. And also genius. Anyway, that story goes on for a very long time and it has like crazy ups, crazy downs and also really sad endings. So I don't know if you're interested in that. Go look up the Hugbees video. Although he does a heck of a lot of swears. So, yeah. And also he yeah, makes a those... lot of terrible crude jokes. So I would yeah, not recommend. Yeah, those videos are you... very much not safe for work. Yeah, definitely not. I would not recommend uh, seeing that unless like, you know, you are of uh, reasonable age. Cover some interesting topics though. Freaking crazy ones. He has teased that apparently he's got some more food related ones coming up. It's like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic. <laughs> Love it if that that's what that guy said. N nice of the country to invite me over for a picnic. <laughs> and then he gets his ass thrown in jail. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I love that those CDI games are still remembered as fondly as they are. I still see YouTube poops being made for them, and it makes me happy. Yep, as terrible as those games are, I'm, I really am happy that everyone got so much joy out of them. What was that Even one if game it was for all the wrong reasons. Arzette, the Jewel of Faramore. I seriously want to uh, consider playing that game. It's out. Matter of fact, do I have that on my wish list? I should put that on my wish list. No Steam news, get out of here. It's 20 bucks on Steam. Ooh. That even sounds like, you know, olden world uh, title right there. The Jewel of Faramore. Freaking great. That's Mama Luigi to you, Mario, in Barnaby B. Beagle's voice. Oh. Well, I, I can't do it very well, but God, I wish Synth was here. <laughs> hey, that's Mama Luigi to you, Mario. I um, think so, fun fact about the RZ Jewel of Faramore game. Um, the person who developed it was also the developer of the um, Zelda CDI um, uh, remasters. Really? Yeah, Same he did it. Yeah, he did fan-made remasters of the Zelda CDI games, which Nintendo immediately took down as soon as they were released. You can find them online in other places if you look hard enough. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. And um, that person just basically kept going, and then they made their own original game, which is what RZ is. Good for him, honestly. Good for them. Yep. Jesus. Come on, Nintendo. What are you doing? So if there's anyone who's qualified to continue the legacy of the CDI games, it's the guy who literally rebuilt the CDI games from scratch. Yeah, I, I think this person has clearly proven that they are made of some certain stuff that is capable of doing this. And they also got back the voices from the CDI games, which is hilarious. Yeah, right? I remember hearing about that. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> this is the most legit project ever. Mm -hmm. It's just a shame that the people that originally made it like, more or less didn't get to live with the victory. Yes. You know, they're not reaping a lot of the benefit. And also, no one ever remembers the third Zelda CDI game. That one's just always ignored. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, that's the one that didn't have all the funny cutscenes, though. Yeah, that was the one where it was all live action and also top down and was just kind of bad and not as memey. Yeah. Was like, the the cutscenes really make the experience, man. Mm -hmm. The cutscenes that feel like they're just a fever trip the whole time you're watching them. You're just like, what the hell? I am sick and I am on the mushrooms. What is happening? Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh, hello. We have a moon in here. Hi. Hello. Why did I, why did I stumble upon? I am alive. I'm awake. Why did I stumble upon? Well, good morning. Um... We're, well, talking, it's... we're talking about Arzette, the Jewel of Faramore. You know about that? Uh, is that... Wait, wait, Jewel... That's, that sounds like a game. And I feel like I'm gonna be like, No, it's not a game! 
no, it's no, I don't know what it is. So, uh, um, do you remember the uh, CDI link games on the Fail of CDI? Oh, that, that, that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've heard about um, um, I've, I know I, then their game grumps, game grumps, game grumps do that. Game grumps have been playing that. Yeah. Um, Kippy says that I am so quiet. I think comparatively, I am very quiet to like the call. I can, yes. I can raise my voice <laughs> over here, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Also, let me let me lower a couple things down on this end. There we go. Boink. All right. Anyway, um, so yeah, that there is somebody who has basically made a a spiritual sequel of sorts to uh, the CDI Link games, and so mm -hmm. it, it pretty much plays similarly to them, except probably better in a lot of ways, like quality of life-wise, and then th they have cutscenes that are very reminiscent of the CDI ones. And they even brought in a whole bunch of the voice actors from the original CDI games to uh, do a bunch of roles. And they got a whole bunch of famous YouTubers to come in and do some voices, too. Interesting. He's cool. Yes. Uh, I have it lined up to maybe pick up at some point. There we go. What else is going on on the, uh, the world of the Steams? Anything crazy? Uh, Baldur's Gate's still uh -huh. sitting at top sellers. Yes. It's not surprising. Oh man, I heard somebody complaining a little bit earlier today. Uh, they they really wish that free to play games were not allowed to show up on top seller list. That makes sense. It's like, I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, you didn't sell any copies. I mean, You're just counting player base as the you know yeah. top seller thing. Like, that's that's not I mean, fair. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Also, yeah, I mean, what what is Ark Survival doing? I don't know, actually. Existing I've, I've or trying to? That I I've, I've seen several Ark related properties suddenly drop out of nowhere, and they just they keep on releasing new crap. And I'm like, how many times can you release new Ark related stuff in such a short period? A new Ark for the Ark, an Ark, if you will. All these um, story arcs, if you will. Okay, so I've never played Ark. All I've seen about it is that it's a survival crafting game that has dinosaurs in it. Mm -hmm. So, but, is that is that it? Like, uh, I mean, I it's it. it's survival crafting with dinosaurs that you can tame, and then you can ride those dinosaurs and base building and multiplayer elements and uh let me look just let me look yeah, at how much yeah, yeah, kind of claims as being arc survival, as a dinosaur arc nerd, survival says arc. the arc dinosaurs are See. inaccurate and suck eggs <laughs> oh you well, know what else is inaccurate and sucks eggs related to arc uh, the what? switch port Ooh. Oof. Have you seen the original launch version of the switch port of this game? No. Uh, no. I have not. But okay. I, I also know what like low power arc survival runs like. And I'm getting the feeling it probably looks like paper mache. Um no. That's an insult to paper mache. Okay. Let me put it let me just put it this way. It runs at a lower resolution than the Nintendo 64. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Ooh. Ouch. It's Oof, that's bad. That sounds that sounds crunchy. Ooh, it's like really crunchy. bad. Sounds mm, crunchy. Delicious pixels. Mmm, scrunch. Anyway. And that's especially bad because uh, what engine does this game use? Uh, Good Unity, question. I'm it's guessing. not that old. Um, and what, wait, wait. For, for, what, for what console? Like the game itself or the game? Switch? Because, oh, I'm. <laughs> I'm it uses. Shoot, it, it's it's Unreal 4. Shot. Oh, yeah. Un oh, Unreal so 4. No is excuse. that like. No, yeah, it's Unreal like 4, away. and um, Pikmin 4 uses Unreal 4, so that is not an excuse at all. Okay, so 
Pikmin 4 uses that for a frame of reference guide. And that's on the same system, so that is a valid Warrior 2 games I've, I have not played. I'll take Warrior 2 games I have not played, Alex. Hello, Draw. How's it going? Um, so, uh, the original game that came out was Ark Survival Evolved. And uh -huh. at first, it was a good game and a good experience. I remember playing it. I remember really liking it. There's actual videos on my uh, on my channel of Ark, of me like just noodling around in a little bit, if you ever wanted to see that. I don't know why you would, but you, you could. Um, I thought it was okay. But then, mm -hmm. Ark just kept on piling on a lot of things that don't need to happen. Um, right. I guess before I, before I go into that, though, they were good in that, like, they were a set of developers that actually seemed very responsive and interested in doing stuff for the community and for the people that were playing their games. Um, one of the things they did really early on, like, I'm talking this was, like, way in the er like the early alpha part of, uh, actually, not alpha. It's, like, the early access. Very early, early access. Um... They would be people that would be playing the game on live stream. And then the ARC guys, they would jump into the uh, live streams, watch them play, and just be like, hey, how's it going? And it's like, oh, yeah, pretty good. And then they would be doing stuff on the stream or, like, you know, something would be broken or the mm. person would talk about <laughs> how, like, and it'd be really nice if there was this feature in the game or something similar. And then, like, 30 minutes later, the, the dev would hop back in chat and be like, hey, it's fixed. Uh, restart your game. And you're just like, what? Yeah, restart your game. Uh, yeah, there's a patch out now. All that stuff that you said needed to be fixed. Yeah, it, it should be in there now. Magically. It's like, magically what fixed. the fuck? <laughs> <Magically fixed. laughs> and then they go fixed. in and they're like, oh, inventory tweak I asked for. Oh, you fixed the weird clipping issue. Sweet. Hmm. Like, they used to send out uh, updates to the game constantly. But hmm. then, like... At some point during the early access, they started doing really shady and creepy business practices, including uh, one of the big first contentious things they did was they released DLC even before they were outside of early access. Um, That's and for shady a lot of people, business for a lot of people, oh, no. yeah, they were like, "Why are you releasing DLC for a game that isn't even out yet? Like, release that as just okay. a part of the game then." And they're like, well, I mean, we would, but this was work that we were more mm -hmm. like, we were bringing this work on from like a third party group that was making this just as a mod and not as a base part of the game. But, you know, we wanted to uh, reward them and we wanted them to be a part of the, uh, of the production of the game and we wanted them to get proper compensation. And so that's where that price point is coming from. And people are like, no, not, not an excuse. You could you okay, could foster... hire them, hire them as real devs, pay them a salary, and make it a part of the base game. Right. Or mm -hmm. if if you really want to wait on it, you could just tell them, "Hey, we'll make it official DLC once the game finally releases. Keep on working on it and keep like shining it up or something." Like there are things you could do to like compensate them and support them before you release the actually you know before you release the game and then then you can make all the oodles of money um mm -hmm. so that was just one thing and i remember that my friends we kind of shrugged and said uh, one stumble on the road isn't that bad we'll we'll deal with it it's cool i'm sure it'll be fine <laughs> um but then then they finally released the game in 1.0 and all these things they promised, including, oh, the ending is going to be so big and the final bosses are going to be incredible. And, you know, there was all, an ending. All... <laughs> exactly. Mean, there really wasn't mean any they editing. didn't live up like, to their expectations. Basically, you get to like the final boss area and the boss basically amounts to a bunch of the uh, big enemies that you had fought previously, except they're like much bigger. They glow a little bit now. And like, Ooh. Chloe! Now we're talking. <laughs> it's just like an sorry, over, but... an over ambitious boss rush, essentially. Um, it sounds so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, ooh, and now we got them glowing. Oh an extra boy, 10 look at them. They're, they're, they're <laughs> super if, like sci-fi looking dinosaurs. Woo. What if it was purple? Let's what a, purple. Yeah, what if it's blue? Looking at blue. 
<laughs> anyway, I, and I'm pretty. No, people I'm... pretty much said the only reason why they released 1.0 is because they wanted to start releasing DLC. And like, end of story. Um, but That's then, a bad no, Most games, some games actually have like scheduled DLC planned. What's a schedule to them? Schedules? No. Like release schedule? No. I I mean I get like the whole patch it later kind of thing, release bit by bit, which is what most games are doing. But this is something completely different. Like this uh, is just like here you go. I don't know. Again, it's mostly just them shrugging and being like, "We're done working. We're finished with the game. We don't want it anymore." Oh, I um, don't know. I can do. And then, and then after that, they just keep on releasing like new g stuff, new games, which is weird. Like, and also they they license out their uh, game property to other studios so that they can make stuff with the arc property which is really weird and confusing like there's a vr game that was made by a secondary developer and i i don't know it, it's got mixed reviews so apparently it's not that good um and then they made announcements for like new different games like they, they announced arc 2 and that it's to be announced apparently which is funny because uh they just announced that there is a game coming out called uh let me see it is called uh, Ark Bob's Tall Tales, which is freaking huh? Apparently, it's not Ark Two. It's just like Ark, except it's got more cowboys, and like it doesn't. I don't see any dinosaurs in this at all. It looks like oh mm -hmm. oh oh. This is DLC. So like we're I don't see any dinosaurs. I see a bunch of like locomotives. This is Thirty dollars. It looks like it's Mad Max. So where the why Ark? Huh? This is I don't $3. understand. Currently, this is um, thirty dollars for a DLC. Yeah, I mean, if it was good DLC, I'd be okay with that. But I mean, yeah, but I'm a bit. I'm, I'm like. Eh. And then, this... um, I'm, I'm gonna. Ch I don't think this announcement was made on. Uh, yeah, it was. It was not made on like April Fools or anything. So they made an but announcement it's... that there was going to like there is currently out available paramount plus arc the animated series oh yeah why 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 not <laughs> why not it prints money i think so but, wait 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 point is, i have a it, i have a question eh. is this an indie game or is this an aa game it yes i mean it, i the would call it yes. an indie game it would I would call it an indie game, but now I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, and I'm just a lot of people are wondering where the fuck is Studio Wildcard getting all this money to do this stuff? Like, I'll what? say. Where? How? Why? What? And now I'm just, I'm currently shrugging my shoulders and being like, why? What even is Ark anymore? And again, apparently there's going to be an Ark two, and who the heck knows what that's going to be like. See, what their ultimate plan is, is they're going to take all the versions of Ark that are good, and they're going to put those inside of a giant Ark, and for 40 days and 40 nights, they're going to purge the Steam stores, and then only the good ones will remain. See, that would be a That's good a, answer. That is a stretch and a half. I no, applaud no, you no, for the... No. I, I applaud you. Well, I, I, well, I can have my own sense of humor bit. <laughs> uh, no, you're right, you're right. Go I on. I applaud his attempt, but this that was the stretch and a half is all I have to say. It was I'm sorry, an attempt was though. made. Yes, and there was attempt. an attempt. Logic was attempted. Success, mm -hmm. who knows? But if I made you laugh, then it's a success. Yeah, good enough. Uh, and yeah. if I made you cringe, it definitely was a success. It was absolutely a success. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, that's that's my gripes with Ark. It's a game that I'm I thought at... was kind of cool. One that I thought would have been cool if it was like more fleshed out and fun. Mm -hmm. It's Minecraft with dinosaurs and UE4 assets. I barely even call it Minecraft. I would, I would more call it Rust. It's more like Rust with dinosaurs. Because like okay, it, it's it Rust has, with dinosaurs then. It has base building. It has PvP. It has 
Uh, well, okay, it, you can capture animals. I don't know whether or not you can do that in Rust, but, you know, dinosaur. Dinosaur! Dinos. Like, if it were Minecraft, you we would be able to, like, till the land and, you know. Minecraft? You know, no. 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 Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Bad. 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 Go sit in the corner. Shame. <laughs> Shame. No. No. We're not doing that. So what's uh what's some other what's some other games that we're like looking forward to? How about that? Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to when FF seven rebirth comes to PC. Mm. Yep. That's a good one. <laughs> That's going to be very uh, fun. I've heard very positive uh stuff about that, but I, I ha I'm not really interested in Final Fantasy myself, but Apparently, this game was made in mind for, like, anybody who might not be interested in Final Fantasy. Like, it's, it's a very good. good... It's very, like, you know, noob-friendly, uh, from what I've heard. It is. Um, it helps that uh, every Final Fantasy game isn't really connected to the other ones. So, like, you don't need to know anything about Final Fantasy 2 to understand Final Fantasy 7. Hmm. All right. Like, Final Fantasy VII is basically an entire separate universe and a separate franchise all on its own compared to the rest of the Final Fantasy games. I see. Basically, every new numbered entry pretty much reboots the entire world and characters and everything, so nothing is the same in between games, so it's fine. Mm. Well, I, I have known that that's been a thing for a while. I I've heard that Final Fantasy VII is, like, different from Final Fantasy VII Remake. It is. Straight up. I could explain why, but doing so requires me to explain the plot of Seven. So, um... That's a little hard. All I know is that there are people that are crossing their fingers that one character doesn't die, and that's it. Yep. And, um, by the way, in uh, Seven Rebirth, the game ends at the point in the, in the original story where that character, um, would have died. <laughs> Oh! Oh no! Oh, I think I know who you're. I think I know who you're talking about, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna say I'm it. not oh, spoiling God. whether or, whether or not I'm that saying. character still dies at the end of the remake. I'm not I'm saying, saying I'm what what saying. happens. I'm just saying the game ends at that point. I'm mm. going All to say. right. Oh, very interesting. This game I is suspect dying. heresy. Heresy. Uh, let me take a look at my wish list what? real quick. TB says, best game for high fantasy dinosaurs is any Monster Hunter game. Best game for scientifically faithful dinosaurs is The Isle. Mm, that's fair. I've never heard. I've heard good things about Monster Hunter. I want to I've not played. See it. Is it, is it on, is, it's time to sit, check to see if it's on sale or not. No, it's not. Wait, is it? I can't tell. Let me sort this by release date. There we go. I'm still currently Honestly. sitting yep. and like, you know, twiddling my thumbs and waiting for Hollow Knight news. While we're Let's waiting see. for the Silk Song to be spun, um, on the subject of Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts or any of those games, if you ever do decide to play any of them, play either Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix or Final Fantasy 7 Remake. One of those two. Ignore wow. everything else. Oh, okay. Uh, understood. You don't need to play Kingdom Hearts 1, you don't need to play any of the other Kingdom Hearts games that take place between 1 and 2, and you don't need to play anything after 2. Alright. I'll keep that in mind. Um, oh, yeah. So... I forget that there was a funny April Fools. Okay, it wasn't actually a joke, but it happened on April, April first. Um, the listing for Hollow Knight Silk Song got official listing on Microsoft Store on April first. You know funny. they just did that on purpose, just to a mess with everybody. Absolutely, you're right. They were just like, hey, this. let's fuck with people. <laughs> let's give it a listing on the one day no one would take it seriously. <laughs> They're great. I love that. That that's a good move. 
good uh, good troll. He's like, wait, is it real? Is it not? Is it what? And she's like, no, nah, they're just messing with us. They're joking. Nah, don't worry about it. But no, it's real, guys. It's totally real. Wait, no, go look. <laughs> I'm scrolling through a bunch of the uh, ah, the games that are currently on my wish list at the moment. Uh, I, I I need to start like cutting out a few of these that have been sitting here for years. <laughs> Some of this is not relevant anymore. Actually, there is one game that I'd like to give a shout out to that I don't know if anyone actually played, but uh, I hope they do because I want the game to uh, do well enough to justify them doing more with it. Mm -hmm. Um, it came out on the Switch in, like, January. It was, um, Another Code. Oh, oh yeah, right, Another Code. Um, in the United States, you'll probably recognize it more as Trace Memory. Right. It, you were talking about that before, and, um... It, you know, the, the craziness of the fact that there was a remake for that, and it was on the 3DS initially, right? Yeah, because it was a game that only, like, five people played. <laughs> What a weird thing. <laughs> it's a very weird thing, but... Um, Just like, who I had the passion it, to bring this back? I hope that it did well enough, because um, uh, the game takes place in the same universe as the Hotel Dusk games. Mm. And uh, those are also a bunch of really, really good point-and-click adventure games on the DS that five people played. You and, know, I'm um, sure that a little bit of nostalgia uh, pushes stuff like that pretty substantially uh, substantially rather probably but um the thing is at the very very end of the um uh, another code remake then the main character from hotel dusk makes like a blink and you miss it cameo in during the credits oh weird and before they um before the original company that made those games folded they said they wanted to do one last hotel dusk game where the characters from trace memory and hotel dusk met up oh so Ooh, um, okay. it feels like they really, really want to still make that. And I hope that this game lets them do that, or at least remake Hotel Dusk and its sequel that the United States never got as well, the same way that Trace Memory got. That would be nice. I hope we can at least get more out of that in that universe, because those are really, really good games. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would definitely be a happy, uh, a happy ending to that kind of thing. Like, it'd be nice for something like that to get a good sunset. At the very because... least, they did give a good sunset to the ending of the second Trace Memory game, because that game initially ended with a whole bunch of uh, plot threads left um, to wrap up in an eventual sequel, and that sequel obviously never happened. So um, with this remake, they actually changed the second half of the second game to basically tie up all those threads. Ah, good move. Smart Which move. is nice. <laughs> like, if you know... God, uh, that that makes me sad. It reminds me of like Netflix shows that get canceled on a season that they that wasn't planned to be the final season, and so they're just like, well, guess we gotta wrap a few things up that we were gonna do on season five, and now we're in season three. Yep. This is a darn shame. Yeah, but at least they were able to like wrap it up, even if it took a while. No, good on them. Good on them. Uh, I'm also just I'm thinking very, about. No, sorry. I'm, I'm thinking. Oh no, no, that's fine. Go on. Um, the very final shot of the um, uh, another code remake. It's done in that paint, like um, that sketchy hotel desk art style. <laughs> uh, and they did that bastards. on purpose. They yeah. absolutely did that on purpose. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yep, it's great. Sweet. Now, all this talk about, um, you know, 3DS and DS stuff is really making me remember a lot of the stuff about the 3DS. And I, I did a lot of stuff on the 3DS. It like, was a great console. I, I, I came in uh, here just to sneak in and go, hi, but a loud conversation go on. But uh, when you started actually mentioning of Hotel Dusk, Hotel Dusk, I'm just like, why is that ringing a freaking bell for me? Because my mom gotten a 3ds uh, or gotten ds just to actually uh try out some of the simpler uh laid back games but one of them was a puzzle game where you're at a hotel and it's just like wait is that it just a quick look up and it's like god 
Damn it, it is. I went through it, and I think I had actually finished it. Hey, I enjoyed nice. it. Nice. Did you like it? I was like, yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed I don't always jump on pure puzzle uh, games, but, or like point and click, I should say. Uh, I don't always jump on them, but yeah, it was something that I enjoyed, and I'll admit I had to do a little look up to figure out one particular puzzle, and I was like, God It's the one where it. you need to shut the DS, isn't it? Yep! Ah. Yep. <laughs> That's everyone gets stuck on that I'll, one. I'll be real. Moon logic! I love Yay. it. Um, the worst one of those puzzles is in the original Trace Memory. Um, there's a puzzle where you don't need to close the DS. You just need to partially close the DS to reflect light from one um, t from the top screen to the bottom screen. What the hell, man? Did you know that DS actually tracks how open the, the console is? No, I, I didn't thought know it just that. tracks if it was open or closed. I didn't know it actually... Yeah, I thought I thought it was just a simple that. sensor, like ma maybe like a couple of magnets, like very weak magnets on the top and the bottom of the clam or something that are just like, up, oh, we sense a connection. OK, shut it off or something like yeah, that. The thing can actually tell how open the DS is. It's kind of insane. And that I think is, that's the only game that is to the use weirdest. That. OK, so we can confirm that there was analog control in the DS after all. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? It's Freaking just weird. in the hinge. <laughs> Yeah. Freaking. Yeah. That's freaking yep. cool. Um, yeah. Hmm. Man. So I just recently rebooted um, into my 3DS just to go down memory lane. And I forgot just how much stuff I've collected over the years, especially digital stuff. Um, I remember. Like, now, again, I was one of those like funny fools that went and bought a 3DS around the time that it was like brand spanking new uh, when it had like the ridiculous price point. Cause I was like, but it's Nintendo and I like the DS and I like the idea of like glasses free 3D and I, I subscribe to this idea. And then like 13 games came out for it and it was slow going. <laughs> and so then to, to recoup and you know, right the ship, Nintendo basically went, okay, sorry, here's a massive discount on the, on the product. Here, please buy the, the thing. Also, for anybody who has already bought into it, we apologize severely. Here's a bunch of free digital stuff. Uh, our bad. They Which, still never actually officially released those games outside of the Ambassador program. As they promised. Um, yep. And it's kind of crazy, because I, I do have all of those ROMs currently sitting on that DS. Um, possibly in case I ever wanted to play them. I don't. Yeah. But, although if you although if you've hacked your DS, which you probably have by now, you can basically load up any um, you can load up any GBA game you want using that emulator. I hacked um, I hacked my one of my 3DSs, uh, but I did like a system transfer of uh, like my original DS stuff over to a different DS to make sure that I didn't l lose any of it because like you know there there's some classic stuff that I didn't want to end up losing out of nowhere. Um, which is foolish now because now I realize that if I had hacked that 3DS, I probably would have been able to just download them and make a backup. And you also would be able to disable the dark filter. Dark? Oh, yeah, that's right. You, you know how the Wii U, whenever you play like a um, emulator game, then it makes the game really, really dark yeah. for Yeah, everything no looks a little bit more sludgy and you're like, ew, this doesn't look the way that it looked back in the day. Are they trying to like you know, emulate a crappy CRT or something. Nope. Yeah, the the 3DS, um, when you load into GBA mode, it also does that for some reason. But um, if you use an injector, you can um, remove that filter. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's well, very, very nice. The reason they do that is because, like, of epilepsy concerns, right? Like... Yeah. And... I, I, actually, I think for GBA games, I think the reason they did that was because... With the GBA specifically, the games were initially designed without a backlight in mind because the GBA didn't have one. And so when you play it on something that does have a backlight in it, the games look really, really washed out. So they have to add the filter to counteract that and make it look somewhat normal again, maybe? Because that's I how know. I want to play video games without being able to see them. Yeah. What the heck, man? <laughs> I get there's some level of, you know, logic that involves you jumping through a couple of hoops to get there, but 
I don't know. I would have but anyway, you can get Mother 3 on your 3DS, and it's pretty great. Yes, you can. Um, now, I got a couple of things on there. Like, I have a bunch of the old video uh, programs. Dinosaur <laughs> Office. Rawr. Yeah, Dinosaur Office. Rawr. I don't have those, sadly. Um, but you remember that on, like, that Nintendo video channel. They always had Dinosaur Office for some reason. Yep. I don't know who paid who to put Dinosaur Office on there, but they did. And in 3D. In 3D. That's weird. It's very strange. Very strange. Um, oh, what other what other weird stuff was on the uh, the 3DS's like video channel? Good question. I'm going to look up the 3DS video channel. Oh, there was that um 3D episode of the Kirby anime. Oh. Dude, I remember that. Remember the one with did Kabuki that, Kirby? Did that come out on the video channel specifically? I think it did. I think it was on the video channel, and then they made it so you could download your own. Oh, like, I don't know if like I did. They made it a separate app afterwards. Oh, I, I don't know if I did. Oh. I mean, you can get it now. Yeah, technically. Let's see. Okay, I, Actually, I'm looking it up real quick. Actually, people created a video channel injector so you can inject full 3D movies onto the 3DS now. Yeah. <laughs> which is hilarious. I love people. I love technical stuff. Um, so let me see here. Okay, I'm looking through here. Uh, Dinosaur Office from College Humor. What the freaking hell? What? Batman and Piter Man got on it? Mm hmm Where? Who? When? I don't know. Also, I, I love how, like, you know, Dinosaur Office. Comedy. Batman and Pyre Man is uh, labeled as a black comedy. <laughs> what the heck? I've never even heard that term. Oh, oh, dark comedy. Okay, all right. Style of comedy that makes light of subject matter that is generally considered taboo. Well, I remember Batman and Pyre Man. That didn't get that dark. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, Kirby right back at you 3D. I, yep. I remember it. I do. I just don't remember actually. Like, I don't think I kept it. I remember seeing it on the Nintendo Video Shop. Um, or you know, not shop. The Kid Icarus short. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Those one. were great. Those, there were they did three of those. Those were awesome. Yeah. Oh, I remember those. That was great. Um, Bear Shark. Holy crap! Oh. Le Legend of Zelda The Misadventures of Link Oh I remember those Those were cute I don't remember that at all Those were adorable huh. It was basically like um, It was basically just little skits that were done In Wind Waker HD It was just Link running around being an idiot And it was great Aw that's cute They did um, they did like 12 of them They were adorable It was like um, that bit where he gets thrown out of the cannon Or him just running into an enemy And just noping out of there because he's going to die Just ah just cute little things or him crawling around and getting lost in a tunnel. Yeah, God, I, I didn't... Re How to win at Smash Bros. Uh-huh. Okay. That was an official Nintendo thing. A tutorial show about how to win at Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo DS. Boy, I, I'm sure that probably somebody has uploaded this stuff to the YouTubes. Yeah, it's Bra on YouTube. There were Bravest Warrior shorts? Whoa. That's cool. Being puppy cat, oh uh, man, being puppy cat was that that it's that old. Yeah. Wait. Yes. What? Is. Oh, Charlie the unicorn was on there. Yes. The original. You see, oh, there was a channel called Channel You're right. Moderator, Holy and crap! Netflix. Being puppy cat was. How on did channel llamas Predator. with hats get a pass on that? I don't know. What the heck? No, I feel who, like that's who not exactly Nintendo? for a Nintendo audience. <laughs> who allowed llamas with hats to show up on a Nintendo console? No. Nintendo. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, yeah. Funny, funny thing you mentioned about that. I think I saw like a thing of like a 10-year anniversary or 20-year anniversary for them. Apparently, there was an anniversary for llamas with hats like mm -hmm. within a past couple of weeks. Okay. Oh, that kills me. Carl, that's, that's not safe that for a Nintendo audience. Oh, uh, yeah, that's all I yeah, know. Right. That's all I know. 
something like that. Carl, we shouldn't be and on this console. Uh, you killed children, Carl. Carl. That's I have the remedy in the tomb. I don't know, I don't know the plot. I don't know that only hands can satisfy. <laughs> right. <laughs> I forgot that. Um, yeah, they released music videos too. All right. What um, eats tasty faces? <laughs> out of context. What? Hippie says and eats oh, tasty yeah. faces. It... My, my stomach had the I'm... rumblies. That only t that only hands could satisfy. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm sorry. I've never the seen this with the hats. llamas with hat. I've seen other obscure stuff, but never llamas with the hats. Oh, llamas with uh, llamas with hats is a thing. It, it, it's insane. Massive <laughs> trip. It's nice. I think uh, my favorite one is definitely the second one though. <laughs> where where like, Carl, like, I think it was the second one, where Carl crashed the entire cruise ship. Carl, what are we standing in? <laughs> oh, and it, it, like the entire raft is just filled mm -hmm. with like a red substance. And he's just like, would you believe it is uh, raspberry jam? No. <laughs> it's just like, okay, fine. It's the lovely couple from 2B. Carl! <laughs> oh. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Uh, okay, Go was on there. Lincoln Park was on there. Skrillex the door. Lincoln, Lincoln Park hell? was on there. You know, you know, just for kids. Like <laughs> big time rush. Okay, that makes sense. Jason Derulo. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Foster the people. I'm fine with that. Walk of the Earth. Uh -oh. Fine with that. Osaka pop star. Whoa. Oh, what? oh, and they also had like movie tra uh, trailers as well. Yeah. See, before before Nintendo Video was a thing, though, uh, way like as they were trying to like work this stuff out to tide things over and allow people content while they were all confused and scared. On the eShop, they did release a bunch of like exclusive individual video files, except they released them in their own individual apps. Um, and they would usually, they would either save this for an occasion where they had to do it, or um, there, were, there were certain times when they just wanted to release, like, game trailers as individual apps and release them out that way. And I remember, I collected a bunch of them from the early days. And they are still on that 3DS. I didn't delete them. Nice. So, I, do, I, I don't have all of them. I don't have, like, a full... Uh, repertoire of them but they there are a bunch on them on there and uh it, it's crazy to open up those apps again and look down at them and just be like holy shit <laughs> these are apps from a bygone era you know what in celebration of the fact well okay not in celebration but you know in memoriam of the 3ds uh going out with a bang i suppose uh, i'm gonna go and i'm going to uh i'm gonna grab my 3ds and i'm gonna boot it up um, so... Will it turn on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't turn on. It's like, shit. Actually, um, there's one other cool thing you can get on your 3DS now. Um, have yeah. you ever heard of a game called um, EX Troopers? Um, no, I haven't. Okay, so um, what it is, is it's a third-person shooter created by Capcom. It's actually in a spin-off of the Lost Planet franchise. Okay. And it never released in the United States. Huh. Or anywhere outside of Japan. How do you get it on your 3DS aside from hacking? Um, well, there's a full, complete translation patch that came out in 2022. Okay. But I'm assuming it that also requires you to hack your 3DS. It does require you to hack your 3DS, or you can also play it on the PS3 version, because the game was a simultaneous 3DS and PS3 release. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> So they somehow managed to fit a really, really good th um, PS3 game on the 3DS, and uh, they never released it over here. That's crazy, man. Yep. Uh, but you can get it now. Game porting is a magic and a mysticism. Yes. Also, Florian says, am I too late? No, no, no. I, I, If I open up my 3DS and just start going through memory lane here, we might be here for a while. <laughs> yeah. So no worries. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to make the VTuber rig disappear. Be Hello, I am gone. <clears throat> wait, wait. And, uh, huh? I'm going to walk over to where I've got my 3DS. 
You, you guys from don't say farm anything to that would farm. get me banned. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Hey everyone, let's, let's, hey everyone, hey, 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 I got an idea, let's, is he gone, okay, so, hey guys, you know what the funniest thing we could do right now is, do not do it, <laughs> but I think we should, like, you know, um, here's an idea, what if, what if we, what if we just tee -hee got a green screen, right? <laughs> and, then, and then we put... And then the green screen... Um, <laughs> tee -hee, okay, did you say stuff. anything that would make the FBI raid my home? No! Uh, don't worry about it. No. <clears throat> um, okay, frickin'... I hear that. We're just. Right, I gotta. Just I gotta plug in the uh, the power to this thing. Um, this is not a very long course. Maybe... Oh. <clears throat> Maybe you should get a, a an extension. I think I I could plug it into my uh, my UPS underneath the desk. Do Karen says, do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do what? Just do, go? Or is it do? This is some well, as, as a great as a great man has once said, do it. Do it. Great man, he says. <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, he was just a little quirky guy. He did he did some bad. He did some mm -hmm things. You know? I, was, I said he was, he was great, kind of, not good, not kind hearted, he just, just a, great. He was just a, he was just a, you know, he did. He was kind of problematic. He was like some. I swear to God, what is that from? I... It's from one of his I random know. discords. Not even he knows. That's no, the most I mean, annoying I part. I recognize the sound <laughs> clip. I just don't remember what's from. If anyone here right now can actually attest to what possibly could be. Please put in your entry now. You may win a prize. Do not even think about no, doing it. Win. You will not win. Um, you will not pass go. You will not collect $200. Um. Um. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, uh, dang it. What, what just fell? God. Oh no. Sucks. Well, now I have to go check that just to make sure it wasn't something important. What was that? <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. It was a pair of scissors. Scissors? Scissors. I think that's okay. Eh. <sighs> I was wondering where it was. It was way in the back of my desk. I gotta resort this place, I swear to God. Mm -hmm. Eh. Okay, putting the trackers back on. Arr, sliding back into the position. Hi, I've returned. Hello, returned. Welcome back. Hello, mm -hmm. I am Dad. Okay. Hi. So let me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me start up the three D. How much battery is this gonna have? I remember it had about like half when I originally plugged it in. Half. N then two today. <laughs> All right. Well, hey. Out of curiosity, let's unplug the cable and see if it stays on. You're just... Yeah, it says it has a full battery on it. Not bad. Hey, oh boy. All right, I'll, I'll plug it back in just in case. <laughs> anyway. False advertising. Here, just so you guys can, like...
slightly hear what I'm hearing. Oh, God. I wish there was a way... Mm, I don't have a way, like, you know, sh uh, on short notice to be able to, like, plug the audio in so you guys can hear it clearly. Shoot. Do you have a way to connect the video to it? Um... If Nintendo wasn't stingy, and if this thing was hacked, then the answer was yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm, okay, because I know you can get a hard mod that lets you like plug your console directly into like a video um, port, so that way you can just capture video directly. Uh, um, the hacked the hacked 3DS I have actually has um, a capture device built directly into it. That is awesome. Um, if I think it's, one of, it's that, one of the few last ones that was ever made, I feel. If you still have that around, um, there's a, another homebrew app you can install that lets you um, control your 3DS via a um, Bluetooth controller. So if you have like mm -hmm. a Bluetooth Xbox or Joy-Cons or whatever, then Cut. you can use that to play the game. And then you can connect the 3DS to your capture device. And essentially, you've docked your 3DS and you can treat it like a Switch. Hmm. That sounds nice, actually. Though, <laughs> there are some games that I want to play with, you know, with a touchscreen, though. I don't know. Yeah, in that case, you're still kind of, you need to have a touchscreen or touchpad somehow. Kinda, yeah. Actually, I think you might be able to use a PS4 controller and use the touchpad. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe? man. So I, while I was doing my whole research on, you know, playing games properly and without emulators like nintendo you know the good, the good god nintendo uh says uh, i learned about the magic of being able to you know there are certain programs that you can download that allow you to use a nintendo controller on a pc um and not only that but it also keeps all the motion control things intact which is real nice because there are certain games that i'm like i'm so used to the motion controls Nintendo has brainwashed me. I need those. Mm. So. Anyway, so yeah, I'm looking down at my um, 3DS at the moment, and we got a couple things on here, like, you know, all the classics. I know, the, I know that one. Yeah. Um, you recognize this one? Is that Netflix no. or YouTube? That was Netflix. YouTube is nice. this. Wow. Yep, that's it. Mm, wow. How generic. Just generic. <laughs> there is like, I don't know, make a sound effect and make it our, our app. I don't, okay. You couldn't even get the YouTube app nowadays, can you? No. Pretty sure they discontinued. They dis well, you discontinued the heck out of it a long time ago, I feel. If I remember right. There's no reason for YouTube to continue to update the 3ds app for god's sake i mean you know or 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 google for that matter um oh he, he, here's here's something that's a little bit special in my heart that um you know it's all brownie points and nothing else that's the jingle for the ambassador certificate <laughs> <laughs> Because I have to show off the fact that I bought a a 3DS early. <laughs> Literally, all it is, is you just... It is an app that you log into. And then it shows you, like, a golden ticket on your screen. And, like... Why is that so... You can, um... You can Thanks. actually... There's a button down on the very bottom that says, would you like to like receive notifications for ambassadors? And your console could get ambassador notifications. Which is so you neat. had So you had the prime opportunity to go to the chocolate factory and you did not go. Well, <laughs> maybe I'm not a fan of chocolate. You ever think of that? There's other things besides chocolate. What about okay. the... What sort of updates would they give you? Because they only gave one batch of games, right? Mm -hmm. Um, they they sent out a couple of batches of games in waves, if I remember right. You know, ah, okay. wh when they were ready, they would send like uh, a new set of them out to you, if I'm right. And like, uh, let me think. So they had um the three D games. There's some demos. I'm gonna go over to the virtual console section. Because there's a couple of things that I, I remember I bought. 
And then there were a couple things that I didn't buy. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's right. I have Shantae. I have, like, Ooh, the, nice. uh, the the Game Boy Color version of Shantae on here. That Yeah, that didn't come oh. out, I believe. That is cool. Or maybe it did. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Somebody somebody remind me. It, I might be I might be talking shit. Shantae might have been no. on the store. I'm trying to remember. Shantae One... was on the store. It was actually cheaper for you to buy a new 3DS and buy Shantae on the store than it was to buy a cartridge of Shantae for the Game Boy Color. Fair enough. Okay, here because we go. that game is just ludicrously expensive. A uh, couple uh... games here that were not available was... I have WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro Games on nice. this little boy. And Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Excellent. I believe those two games are Game Boy Color games that were not released. And I also have Mario vs. Donkey Kong. <laughs> that is were those, cool. Were those three get they they sent out a bunch of all old... Game Boy Advance games were not released. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yikes. They they just didn't send the Game Boy Advance games out at all. Yeah. Uh, so I have I have Mario Kart Super Circuit, Wario Land Four. Oh, Wario Land Four! Holy shit! That that is so much more like significant now to me. Oh yeah, and then Metroid Fusion. Metroid Fusion is a bop. Uh, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. How did I... Jesus, how did I sort these things out? Because, like, it's just all the virtual console games thrown into, like, a blender and just thrown into this folder. Like, what, what was I thinking? I don't know. I probably should have just given, like, the individual... Like, you can make folders. And they're all in just one folder labeled virtual console. Give them their own separate folders past me. Uh, all right, what else? Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of demos um, that I downloaded from the store. Which is funny, because <laughs> you only have so many times that you can play a demo, which is really right. stupid. I, they made it timed, so you can not You can only boot up the demo a certain amount of times before it says, do you want to buy it? No? Yeah. Okay, which... it's just going to sit here forever. Mm -hmm. So I have a couple of demos in here. Um Metopia. Metopia. Yay. <clears throat> Sonic All-Star like, Racing All Transformed. Transformed. There we go. Monster Hunter 3. Resident Res Evil Revelations. Yeah. <laughs> it's or a real Revelate. guessing game. Because the game had a typo on the side. Oh, nice. Well, like, I like that game. Whatever that game is. Is that Pac-Man? It sounds like Snake Eater. Nope. nope, that's that's uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Man, huh? I feel like Metal Gear Solid 3D like, like... as a concept, or at least, you know, the, the port, I think it needs a little bit more time in the oven, if, if I'm, if, you know, in my opinion. The port itself is very, very good. The problem is the 3DS can't really handle it. <laughs> yep. Well, I think um, Snake Eater 3D came out on the original 3DS, uh, which yeah. I think if it came out on the new 3DS with the better hardware uh, and you know, the better CPU, I think it would have been a little bit better. Also, yeah. also, um, the new 3DS had like you know the extra circle nub, so right, you don't need to buy a circle pad pro. Yeah, um, that is true. Actually, um, there is one really cool thing you can do with Snake Eater 3D. Um, dump the game. Put the ROM on your PC, use a specific emulator that I will not name, and um, get a 60 FPS patch. <laughs> oh. If you do that, it's actually really, really good. Fun. Uh, let's see. I have a dedicated folder for Cave Story. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of versions of Cave Story. <laughs> and I have, like, all of them. All right, uh, I have I have a couple, actually, three versions of Cave Story that I can play on this 3DS. Three. Uh, there is, there is the version that originally came out on DSiWare, 
uh, there is Cave Story 3D, which is the 3D remaster or remake that some people like it, some people don't. I'm kind of in the meh category. Um, and then they just straight up made a ver they made a remaster of Cave Story specifically for the 3DS, the 2D version. Which that that tells me more than anything that the 3DS 3D version, like that you know the 3D model version, failed. <laughs> yeah, because they're like, eh, just release the 2D one. Okay, fine. Uh, I have an entire folder dedicated specifically to Ace Attorney. <laughs> yep. Do you have uh, Dual Destinies? Yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> yep, I do. I also have Professor Layton and Phoenix Wright. Very nice. Um, I have... Wait, I have, I have, oh, okay. What, wait, what's the, I have, I have one folder labeled software, and then I have one labeled 3D games, but all of them are games. Past me was on something, I swear to God. I don't Why know. are there two different ones? I don't know. What was the, what was the separation in my head? Maybe, was it because these games specifically can't be played in 3D? No, because like, there's one game in here. Yeah, no, there's several games in here that are 3D. What the hell, me? Um, I don't know. I don't. I, I, I'm not gonna ask any questions. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I I got a digital copy of Majora's Mask. Nice. Right. That's a good one. I didn't buy the physical version. I have the physical version of Ocarina of Time. Um, I have a bunch of the 3D Classics games on here. Uh, you know, just the ones where they took the 2D game and just said, "Let's add layers." Um, the 3D Classics version of Kirby's Adventure is actually the best version of that game. Because, um, fun fact with those 3D Classics games, those aren't running in an emulator. Those are actually, like, full ground-up remakes. Yeah. I know, right? Which is weird, because, like... Okay, so you got... Yeah, you got Excite Bike, which, like, okay, that's a pretty basic game to remake, you know, whatever. But then you have stuff like... Frickin' Xevious? Yep. I mean, it's kind of in a similar vein, but like Kirby, yeah, Kirby's Adventure, like, yeah, that that takes a little bit of effort, man. Yeah, especially because the original Kirby's Adventure, it was a late NES game, so it pushed that console to its absolute limit, mm -hmm. and that means that it had lag everywhere. Yeah. Oh, so, God, yeah. So this version has no lag, so it's mm -hmm. actually playable now. Right. Oh, yeah. Smash. I had to. Funny enough, the the more I really think about it, the more I realize that the 3DS version of Smash uh, is the winner of that era. It is. Yeah. It's better than the Wii U version. Um, it also has like Smash the Wii, Run, and the I Wii U one just Run. feels like it's a it's an in between between Brawl and Ultimate, in my opinion. Yeah, the 3DS one has more of its own identity. Mm -hmm. Oh, the 3DS also has um, what was that one mode the um. The Smash Run mode? Smash Run, that one. I love that mode. And that's a winner for me. It's oh. it's just City Trial from Kirby Air Ride, but on the go, and that's amazing. Hey, Tomodachi Life. <laughs> Tomodachi. <laughs> I played a bunch of yeah. that. Yeah. That game was cursed. <laughs> I want more Tomodachi Life. Yes. Release. All hail the Virtual <laughs> yes, Boy. Me <laughs> All hail the Virtual Boy. All By the hail power of the Right. All hail the Pickle. All hail the Pickle. Uh, I'm trying to remember some of the other quotes from that game. That game is weird. Um, oh, I have... Swap Doodle. Which is kind of nice. like Swap Note, except slightly different. What is, what is nice. this? Oh! Uh, oh yeah. Photos with Mario. What? That's weird. What? I don't I think... know what that oh, yeah. is. I think this is like one of those, um, you know, those like AR cards. I think it's oh. something like that, where like you put down an AR card and you can like take pictures with the uh, Mario. I booted it up real quick. Yeah. Okay. So you can get, you can get an AR card, and then you can uh, play some like weird Mario stuff. And I think it's mostly just a picture thing, but. 
Okay, I, I guess that's nice to have, I suppose. Closing software, taking 12 years. Ah, uh, yeah, here's, here is a game uh, franchise that I desperately want to play on the stream one day. <laughs> Rhythm Heaven, I want it. <laughs> oh, yeah. They got to release a Rhythm Heaven for Switch, please. If, if they release a Rhythm Heaven for Switch, I will come up with a way to likelessly play the game because I want to play it on stream. All right. That would be awesome. I want it. I want it bad. That can't, Also, um, that was Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix, and that includes a bunch of like the classic Rhythm Heaven games that were released over the years, as well as a bunch of extra new stuff that was exclusive to it. It's freaking great, man. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Ah, here, here's the full, a full. Oh, you know, I'm gonna save the movies for later. Cause the movie, for me, the movies are very special. The movies are like one of those things that like never gonna find them anywhere else, unless you, you know, uh, it's never been easier to hack your 3ds. Anyone can do it. Anyway, surprisingly easy. It's surprisingly mm -hmm. easy. <laughs> All right. So, um, then there's like the digital. A folder with like digital games in it. I have a few things in here. Um, I have a bunch of Zen pinball in here, which I kind of like the idea because it's 3D, you know, 3D plus pinball. That sounds great, right? Like yeah. most most games of pinball that you can buy and like play virtually don't feel right because you're just like, oh, I can't see the depth of the table and like. But then I realized. And no, the 3DS, you have to hold it at a very specific angle in front of your face, and it just doesn't feel comfortable. And eh. mm -hmm. Like, it it works, I suppose, but not really interested. Uh, oh, yeah, here's a, here is a classic on the 3DS. Mutant Muds. Nice. Um, and also... Um, triple. Actually, no. What, what was it? V, 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 V. That one? Oh, right. That one. You know, the Spike game. The one the where you're constantly dying. Yeah. I have an addiction. Shut up. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, let me see. Ah, okay. Absolute classic and banger. Mighty Switch Force! Yes. Yep. I love it. I have both Mighty Switch Force and Mighty Switch Force too. Nice. Yeah, I, and I like them both. Um, I I never played this one. Lego City Undercover for 3DS, and um, I think that's for the best because apparently it wasn't that good. <laughs> oh, I also have Sonic Generations too. Yeah, that's, that that's cool. Is... That is definitely a game. Uh, I heard that the Sonic Generations on the 3DS wasn't, like, stellar, but it was okay. It was very, very rushed. No pun intended. And <laughs> um, the real game is the console one. You, mm -hmm. you don't really want to bother with the 3DS one too much. Well, it's just funny, because, like, even the console one um, and the, the, the one that was released on PC, I have noticed mm -hmm. that just because of the way that it was coded, Sega's doing their best, man. But, uh... It's definitely showing its age because there are some really weird quirks and problems with it. I mean, they are remastering it. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course they are. And probably slipping De Nuvo in too. And also adding Shadow the Hedgehog content. Shadow the Hedgehog mm -hmm. does not forgive De Nuvo. <laughs> no, he does not. Um, oh, man. So who has memories of this? The 3D Pokedex. What? Oh, I remember that one. Oh man. I remember like it this was one of the first games I was like so happy. It it was so little. Like there was this was one of the first games that was released on the um on the three DS and it was definitely something to hold people over, but I still loved it because you got to see Pokemon in three D for the first time. And it was so Cries. neat. Cries in All Pokemon right. Stadium. Victi oh, okay, well. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Um, 
I mean, it's but, the first time we saw them in glasses free 3D. In glasses free 3D. Yeah, that good good way to put it. Um, I'm trying to remember. Did did they ever release an update for this app that included all the Pokemon and not just the ones that were released in this generation? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't remember that either. I'm looking around here, and it's not that I don't like this generation. It's that I didn't really play it. Didn't have enough oh. time. <laughs> um, what what was like my favorite Pokemon out of these? I mean, I, I, have, I have a special, like, place in my heart for Victini just because Victini looks ridiculous. <laughs> and it looks mischievous. Looks like it's going to, like, destroy all of your, all your ferns. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to close that. Uh, oh, I got the digital version of this. Doris, that was a pretty good Mario game, though. Way too many coins. Way too many coins. Excessive, ridiculous amount of coins. Yes. Um, I'm not even going to try to log into the uh, Nintendo video f feature or the Netflix feature, because I don't know if they even work. I mean, I know the <laughs> Nintendo video feature doesn't. Netflix, though, God, I don't... They must have, like, blocked... That's their service from that a long time ago. I'm pretty sure that shut down years ago. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna go over to the movie section because, like, that's that's where all of like my special memories come from. Because I remember watching these uh, trailers over and over and over again, and they made me happy. Um. Okay. Let me count how many we have. So one. Okay. Two. Four. Six, Twenty-five. 25 of these videos are on this memory card that I just, I downloaded them, never got rid of them, because I'm like, what if I need them one day? And you know what? The store is dying. So I think I've made the right choice. Anyway. Oh, yeah, and it started up with that sound effect. Ooh. I think the thing, the reason why I kept these is because, like, Man, how many times are you going to be able to watch, like, a 3D trailer? Yeah. And now I realize that that's, like, you know, really stupid and who cares. Oh, my God! I have the trailer for Super Mario 3D Land before it had 3D Land as its subtitle. Oh, nice. Yo, okay, I have to check this real quick. That's a rare one. Yeah, this is when people were like, oh my god, there, there's a Tanuki in the trailer, like, you know, on, on the tail thing. Oh. They're bringing back the Tanuki suit, that's amazing! And then people played it, and they're like, oh, it's really slow. <laughs> it's like, no, Mar Mario moves like a crawl in this game, and I think, I think that was one thing people were questioning, being like, hmm. Yeah, the action here looks pretty slow. Is, is that gonna is that gonna matter later on? Ugh. But most people were like, nah, nah, it shouldn't matter. It's a Mario game. It'll play fine. And then it proceeded to not really play all that fine. Yeah, it's it's a perfectly good like Mario game. It does also kind of feel like Baby's first Mario game though, in terms of definitely. Yeah. It, it doesn't really offer anything original that hasn't been done in any other Mario game before. Ta -da! Amazing. Anyway. It's still a good game, though. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Press return to home. Thank you. Holy crap. All right. Um... I have a trailer for Resident Evil Revelations, Star Fox 3D, Kid Icarus Uprising. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to play the whole of this, but I've got the trailer for the Green Lantern in here. <laughs> Wait, the what? bad one. The movie? Yes. 
Oh no. Uh I think God we were starved. We were so starved for content. I'm like, a 3D trailer for a movie. <laughs> but and it's for like, the Green Lantern. It's for the Green Lantern, so it's so not worth it now. Deadpool is very disappointed in you. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. No, it's worth it. Um it, it's worth as ire, I guess. I don't know. Um yeah, oh here um I have a trailer for Mario Kart before they officially titled it Mario Kart 7. Yo. Um Mario Kart 7 still holds up. It's really good. Oh yeah, it totally does. And we were questioning Nintendo by making it a mainline series game. I mean, uh, Retro Studios helped out with it. Um An Animal, Animal Crossing, Crossing trailer that didn't even get released in English. Wow. For New Leaf? For New Leaf. Before they even had it titled New Leaf. Wow. Yeah. I never played New Leaf. That was one thing I skipped. Really? Yeah. My first one was New Horizon, and um, I guess that's for better or for worse. There are some things New Leaf does better uh, than New Horizons. Mm hmm Absolutely. That's why I say for better, for worse. Yeah. Oh, this makes me oh, miss. I oh, can, I can select to receive notifications or not select notifications. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be getting a lot of those in the yeah. future. Yeah, oh, oh, totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, a trailer for the... Oh, yeah, the Link Between Worlds. But, again, I think this trailer doesn't have the Link Between Worlds uh, subtitle yet. Again. So it's just Zelda 3DS? Yeah, <laughs> just Zelda. It's just Zelda Game Trailer, Nintendo Direct, 4-17-2013. Following um, is a game footage from a still-in-development game. Wow. Fun fact about that game, one of the names that they came up with for it before deciding on Link Between Worlds was New Legend of Zelda. I'm happy they didn't go with that. Same. <laughs> New Legend of Zelda. I know so I have the fiscal cartridge for this, so. Could play that. Luke's Sweet Worlds was really good. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, I have the trailer for Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, which is a surprisingly good port. Yep. Uh, anything else noteworthy sitting here? I think, like, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D trailer came out around the same time as, like, the drought of content for 3DS. But <laughs> at that time, they already had a good idea of what uh, Ocarina of Time 3D was going to look and feel like. And they were mostly done with it at that point. So there's nothing really significant in that trailer. The best trailer for that game is the one with Robin Williams. Yes, agreed. I have a okay, so I, I have a trailer for you know the Mario Kart game, but then I also have the second trailer for Mario Kart, uh, where it actually had the seven on it. Nice. Oh, and I also have um, Paper Mario trailer before they had the uh, sticker star. I think this is sticker star. Oh, that existed. How unfortunate. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If you actually liked it. That's your opinion. But I okay. Do not. Okay. I I'll, say, I'll, say, I'll say this. The 3DS has uh, some really, really amazing, great games. Some of them are the definitive games for their franchises that came out here. It also is the place where Paper Mario and Chibi Robo went to die. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yay. Delicious death. I am still very upset with Chibi Robo Ziplash. <laughs> everything everything Scott the Waz says is absolutely correct. I this actually game really blows. like Chibi Robo. <laughs> I really like the first and third Chibi Robo games. It's a damn shame. Yeah. Um, I, I have a trailer for the Snake Eater Metal Gear Solid 3D game, which, oh, again, I was taking anything I could at the time. I was like, man, I am I am just a 2013 individual 
with not a lot of Wi-Fi, and maybe I want to watch a trailer on the go, even though I've watched it several times. But Nintendo isn't giving me anything else right now, so I'm just going to deal with it. Oh, the memories. Uh, and then there's all the basic software you get with the thing, like... You know, yes. you get the funny AR cards. Face Raiders. <laughs> face, face Raiders. Oh boy, <laughs> that game. That game um, was just nightmare fuel. Yes. Street Pass. The staple. <sighs> the staple the of Nintendo. That's the best use of the 3DS, honestly. Mm -hmm. How are you going to have a Street Pass unless you don't have a me? Yes. So, so much nostalgia. So so many like sound effects. They're so good. Anyway. Oh, and then I have a tiny I have a tiny corner of my 3DS that has a little window for the Meavers. Sure. I'll click on it and see what happens. You know Meverse actually still works. Like um the people who did that backup server, they got Meverse working. D natively? Yeah, like you can connect it to your to your 3DS and it'll actually like work on their private servers. But you don't have to like hack anything, do you? Um I know that it works easier if you hack it, but I think you should be able to even if you don't. Let huh. me check. I don't know. That'd be weird if they were able to like circumvent that. I feel like Nintendo yeah. would definitely like slam down the hammer. Oh hey, the internet browser. Does that crap work? <laughs> oh yeah, you need to have a hacked one. Uh, oh, yeah. Cannot confirm security certificate for this page. Allow connection anyway. Um, it's a YouTube okay. page, so I'm going to allow. Okay. <laughs> oh, my freaking God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, YouTube is just like, your browser is outdated. Please use a device with a newer browser. Now, bring me to YouTube, YouTube. Were, were you even able yeah. to watch YouTube videos through the browser on this thing? I guess. Yes, yes, on 3D. You must oh, yeah. have. Not I mean, if I, I don't yeah, know. If, they, if they're allowing me to come here and like. Oh, man. What's this video? What is this? What, what is this? Oh, I don't know. What the heck? The Play 3D <laughs> channel. Did that even work? Huh? I don't think that would have worked. It's busted. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I think it's busted. Uh, Yeah, probably. I'm going to go over to my tabs and, like, close out of that. So what did I have for tabs? Oh, wow, I've done, like, nothing on this. <laughs> Nintendo 3DS bookmarks. Oh, Yahoo! I can go to Yahoo, guys. <laughs> Let's go to yeah. Yahoo! Okay, yeah. okay, does anyone remember the Yahoo mail? I, I remember. I remember having Yahoo mail, and then I remember I mean, getting I hacked. <laughs> and I then mean, I moved yeah, over that's... to Gmail, and I never went back. Yep. I never had a Yahoo account. Um, I'm going to go to nice. my friends list, watched... and I'm going to see if I... How many friends do I even have? Yeah, how many friends do you have? Two. <laughs> oh. And I don't even remember, like, being super friends with them either. either. Um, there's a game notes section. Did I ever write any? All that's in here is some doodles of like the Half Life Two and like, <laughs> like the Half Life Lambda Two like logo and also the Black Mesa logo. Why did I write this? What game was I playing where I was just like, remember Half Life Two? I mean, I'm sorry I keep bringing Maybe up three DSs, but you can get Half Life One on there if you want. Uh. Yeah, and in case I want to, you know. Talk to Dr. Boomer. Hey, guys, you want to go play through Zen? I have it right here on my 3DS. <laughs> Jesus. No, yeah. I don't think I will. Um, oh, then there's this channel. Oh, no, not that one. The Nintendo Zone channel. Nice. I never use that, straight up. I don't think anyone does. It's like, you take your 3DS to a very... This is a device that was very clearly designed with the Japanese market 
entirely like and they just kind of assumed that it would also work in other places too people just don't go for walks around like you know and things are way too spaced out in the u.s and like very yeah, few but people are going to walk over to an electronic store and like pass by it and get offers for things yeah but mm. street pass was still really really cool it's a really fun idea yeah it was but it kind of i mean early on street pass was absolutely desolate like if you, you if you tagged one person that was an absolute godsend of a moment. Um, yes. Took a while to finally have enough 3DSs out there that it would be worth it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I'm going to go over to my Mii Plaza and see what I have completed. Sorry that you guys can't see any of this, by the way. I... Yeah, I have a question. Why do you still have Stardew Valley as your game that's on uh, Twitch currently? Because I had plans and that they fell through. <laughs> oh... <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, plans? What if I only fly off the seat of your pants? I mean, I kind of that. That's kind of the nature of uh, casual stream, though. It could, that can happen. Anyway, it appears. <gasps> yeah, I remember. I I took my 3ds and I tagged with a bunch of people at conventions. Oh, that was always the best time to bring my 3ds out. Mm -hmm. Conventions are always <laughs> the. It, that was the golden time to have your 3DS out. And it still honestly is. And basically yeah. now it's the only place. Um. Oh, yeah. When I went to a convention, I uh, got official tags from, like, some Nintendo-labeled accounts. Yeah, that was cool. Nice. Uh, let's see. Tezuka, Reggie, Anuma, Masuda. Obviously, obviously, I didn't run into these people. But, like, you go to the convention... <laughs> You walk through like the Nintendo section of it, and like your 3DS just gets tagged, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's neat. Um, let me head on over to Street Pass birthdays. What what even is all of this? The games. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't touched uh, the 3DS's uh, Street Pass stuff in forever, so most of this stuff is just kind of. Eh. Question mark for they, me. They added extra Street Pass games that you could pay for. Oh, well, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. VIP room. What the heck is a VIP room? Accomplishments. You, you, hmm. you can you could save your, um, uh, the me's that you care about. You can put those in the VIP room. And accomplishments, there's an achievements list now. Great. Um, all right, I'm going over to the game section. Puzzle swap. Puzzle swap. I actually, I actually got every single puzzle, like legitimately. How the heck? Nice. Um, how, the answer is I went to Japan for two weeks. Jesus. <laughs> that's that's how. Um, I think I mostly got most of my pieces from just walking around, or like, I don't know, putting putting my uh, 3ds on some sort of like a vibrating machine that allowed it to like pretend like I was getting steps in. Welcome, <laughs> Bunny. You're missed. Hey, how's it going? You haven't missed much. Yeah, We're not just much. Sitting We're just here kind of like... with, with the gramps as he goes through memory lane. Mm. He's showing us all of their things. Yay. I'm, oh, I'm, they, I'm um... going through like memories of the 3DS because the 3DS, like eShops and like, you know, all the wireless connectivities are dying. No, really, they are. They really yeah, are. Yeah, the three DS um the three DS and we use online um support drops um like it shuts down forever uh tomorrow. Yeah. So, so if you ever wanted to play online Mario Kart seven or Kid Icarus Uprising or any other online game on your three DS or Wii U, um like Splatoon One, um do that now because tomorrow you won't be able to. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's unfortunate. I don't have a drive yeah. to do that. So um oh yeah, I remember. So puzzles used yeah. to be a lot smaller than they um mm -hmm. than they like you know were made now let me see uh really early puzzles were that they, they took up about let's see how many spaces is that 15 15 pieces and you could fill in an entire puzzle um but then they changed it over so that it was let's see um 40 <laughs> they yeah, wanted you to find 40 freaking pieces. The later puzzles. Yeah, yeah, no. 
No, 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 no. I did collect um, a few of these. Let me see. Um, I've collected... I have finished a few of these. Let me see. I got... The, oh, Metroid Other M. Holy crap. That oh. Other M one actually is really, really pretty for the 3DS. The, the Other M one is great. The reflections are, like, so pleasant to look at. Mm -hmm. Like, genuinely, I'm looking at it right now. Like, oh, it pops. It looks great. It looks awesome. Though... Looking at it, it genuinely feels like they didn't put much thought into it. So it's like, here's Samus. Here's Samus standing in a field. Yep. I hope you like that. Oh, and then there's Mario, Bowser, and Luigi. Literally, all they did was they took, like, a Smash trophy of these three, slapped it onto, like, a black background, and said, there! Enjoy it, you stupid did kids. <laughs> Uh, Mario Galaxy 2 one looks nice, though. Though, uh, it does, oh, well, okay, there's there's a little bit of depth with the um, the space background. Just a little bit. But yeah, it's got, like, Mario and Yoshi, like, flying through space with their arms out. That's cute. Uh, okay, then there is um, the Legend of Zelda one, which it's kind of suffering from a, a similar issue with like the Metroid one where eh, it's kind of just Link standing there and he swings his sword every now and then. And like, there's a few dark particles that are floating around him. It's, it's in the art style of uh twilight princess or something similar. It's kind of weird that they never actually made a like realistic looking Zelda game for the three DS in that style. The only ones oh, that we cool. got were Ocarina of time and Majora's mask, which are in 64 games mm -hmm. and then link between worlds which is even more cartoony. Yep. Um, I'm currently looking at a Kirby Dreamland one. Ooh, that one's and good. It's just, it's just Kirby. He's like bouncing and vibing and doing like little poses. They, they put a lot of effort into that one. Pikmin! This is not interesting. <laughs> it's just you're just looking into the ground and there's a couple of Pikmin that are just sitting there. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Uh, there's one for su Super New Super Mario Brothers for the Wii U, which eh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, the Ocarina of Time 3D one was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got Link riding Epona and uh, going across Hyrule Fields, and it looks really neat. And they do a fairly good job of cheating it and looking like it's just constantly going like all the time. And and all the weather changes, and, like, it turns to night. No, that one was good. I remember that one. The Star Fox 3D one was really good, too. That was cool. Ah, yeah, I remember this one. This one, there are very few 3D things they did with the 3DS that genuinely felt like they were popping out at you. But, like, this, this one definitely did. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, Star Fox Super 64 3D was a great showcase for the 3D effect. I agree, yeah. Uh, Super Mario mm -hmm. 3D Land, which is just, again, they took a bunch of things and made them sort of move around. It looks all right. A lot of stuff's happening, so you can you have a lot of things to look at. Uh, there's the Mario Kart 7 one, which it's just it's Mario on a cart driving along a road, and Luigi's flying in the sky. There's one for Rhythm Heaven Fever, which is interesting. <laughs> I, I like this one. Because it's just a bunch of references to Rhythm Heaven Fever. and But everything's 2D in that game, so... It kind of boosts the 3D effect a little bit. That one's a more subtle use of it. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, which is... And it's just good old DK standing there and posing and looking cool, I guess. Yep. Uh, Pilot Wings Resort. Oh, this one's really boring. <laughs> this one's just, hey, look, here's a couple of me's flying in the sky. Ta-da. No, no, that one sucks. 
Mm -hmm. Um, we oh oh, Kid Icarus Uprising. Wait, I remember this one being awesome. That game is gorgeous. The game is gorgeous, and the uh the Street Pass picture is actually dynamic. In that, like you know, Kid Icarus is yeah, Pit is actually I jumping around and shooting stuff and being yeah, shot they basically at. Just they basically just used the in-game like model for it there, and it looks so good. That game is so pretty, and um, yeah. the game itself only, is also just really, really good. If only that game got two twin sticks. Ugh. Yeah, I, I wish it did. Or if you could somehow use like gyro to aim, like if you're playing it on a console and you can just aim using a gyro or a pointer controller. Gyro could work, yeah. Because that game's um, really, really fast. Using twin stick would probably be a little hard. Fire Emblem Awakening? That's a pretty good one, too. Oh, right. The 3DS was where Fire Emblem started to not die. Oh, yeah. Because then people were like, wait a second. Who are these amazing anime characters? Wait a second. Fire I want to be them. I want to hug them. I want to play. Yeah. Uh, Mario Tennis Open. Sure. Yep. I mean, at least it's, it's dynamic, and you're watching Mario and Peach, like, Whacking a tennis ball. That's that's fine. That one's okay. Uh, though that is all the ones that I have complete. The rest of them, I have never cared enough to fill in the rest of them. Really? And I have not. But I've got so many of these things that I could get. I, just, I can't. So you don't have the, like the Luigi's Mansion Two one or the Sonic Boom one or the Kirby ones. Let me check and see what I got. Um, they did they did ones based on Sonic Boom. I I have one Sonic Boom, but really? I only have one Boom. piece for it. Oh, I never filled oh. it in. That's sad. Uh, let me see. Pikmin short movies. They did short movies for like the Street Pass. <laughs> That's weird. And I, I feel like I would just want to play a short movie of Pikmin. It's a weird way to, like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I do have uh, Kirby Fighter Deluxe and DDD Drum Dash. Um, I have that one. And I filled in a couple of those. Mm. Super Mario 3D World. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, here's one for Triple Deluxe. Again, only a couple pieces are filled in for it. Jamie Robo! Hey! <laughs> uh, the photo finder one. <gasps> oh, here's one I really would have wanted to do. Skyward Sword. <sighs> I want to I wanna see that one. Oh, boy. If only there were a way that maybe you could edit things... And then, like, you know, inject that into a device that is capable of being hacked into. I'm not saying yeah, anyone should do that, but anyway. I can DM uh, you later. <laughs> anyway, uh. <laughs> and uh, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do. So at some point, I'm probably going to end up hacking that other 3DS, but um, I'm not currently interested or invested in that. That's okay. Though, technically speaking, my, uh, you know, my other hack 3DS could probably, well, no, well, hmm. I'm trying to think about that, because the weird part about Street Pass was that in order for you to be able to even get um, some of these puzzles, it would have required you to either get them from Nintendo or have them traded over to you. And funny enough, I think that's the way that I got a heck of a lot of my um, my puzzles was that I would go to conventions, I would find people that were doing Street Pass, and I would find that they had a puzzle that I was like, wait, hold on a second, you have that? Ooh, let me take one of those pieces. And then I would steal one of their pieces. But then I would never go and finish the, the puzzle, so I was just like... Uh, it was a never-ending cycle of just me never completing puzzles. Oh, I, I do have uh, the puzzle for Kirby's 20th anniversary in here, which is almost complete. It's currently missing five, which if I had enough interest, I could collect enough coins that I could fill that in. 
How many coins do I got? Oh, unfortunately, I don't have enough coins. Want to know what ploy coins are? The coins you can hold is 300. I mean, the max you can hold is 300, and also you could only collect a max of, like, 10 per day. Yep. I, I know why. I know why. They're like, realistically, you're not going to walk that much. Okay, I get it. They're trying to, like, keep people from, uh, you know, generating a bunch of coins, and they're trying to, you know, they, they don't want to flood the market with the 3DS coins. I get it, but, like... They have to manage the economy. We can't have inflation happen in our Street Pass app. <laughs> uh, freaking Nintendo. Yeah. Anyway, th that's just the stuff that I have digitally for the 3DS. Um, I I remember I do have a uh, a fairly nice collection of 3DS like physical games. Um, I didn't buy like a ton, but I, I will say one thing. My my Switch collection specifically, that is the most significant physical collection that I have had in a long time simply because I feel like it is worth it for the Switch. Like, it just feels like that is a console that was made for having physical cartridges. Mm -hmm. You know, they're small, insignificant. You can fit a whole lot into one small space. And you can walk around, like, if you're already lugging around the Switch anyways, like, mobily, it doesn't take that much to also carry around the cartridges. And just the idea of having the physical games on your shelf makes me happy. You know, yes. They're nice tall boxes, and they look so nice. Although, they did, every single physical collection out there has got this problem where, um some label collector or no some label creator decides to go off the rails and changes things up about the design and now the end caps don't look the same um I'm trying to think of a couple even even freaking like nintendo has done that i think for like luigi's mansion uh if i remember right luigi's mansion 3 you know how usually the nintendo labels on the sides it's like the the switch logo then directly next to it, it has the name of the title. And then at the bottom of the label, it has, you know, the manufacturer. And I think it's like some extra data on, on the bottom of it as well. I forget what it is. Well, Nintendo, for, for Luigi Mansion 3, they decided to, you know, Nintendo logo at the top. And then they centered the words Luigi's Mansion 3. You Wait. Frickin' there. Huh? You get what I mean? <laughs> it's like, ev like all the labels that are being created have the exact same sort of spacing, and everything is like you know placed ex in the exact same spots, and it looks really nice on a shelf because it all lines up. It's, it's all perfectly symmetrical, and then one label just has to go like completely rogue and just be like, "No, we're gonna take the title and move it into the center." Fuck you. <laughs> That's like, like, ah. ah. That's my uh, label rant for today. I guess that's better than like some labels where like you know you know how all the uh, the label end caps are like red, and I'm sure there's probably a few uh, cartridge printers out there that probably made their label not red because they just had to be special. They had to be different. It's a special edition. Anyway. I've been ranting and raving and talking about random crap today, and we didn't do any farming. I know. Oops. So farming. I hope people weren't looking forward to seeing corn today. Yeah. Oh, wrong corn. <laughs> Freaking Christ. Oh, my God. It's corn! Oh. All right. Oh, we're gonna, I think we're going to finish things up. It's it's pretty late into the night. Oh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. This has been fun. Yeah. It, yeah. It's been yeah. nice going through memory lane. I've enjoyed it very much. I'm unplugging this tracker because it's hot. All right. Hot pocket. Is. Hot pocket. Also, this hot. iPhone that tracks my face, it is... I swear... I'm going to buy a, a temperature camera one day 
And I'm gonna show you guys just how hot these things get. Like it's, it's scary. It's so hot. Yeah, that, that's that's so hot. It's that's hot. hot. That, 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 no, that's no, hot. No. That's so hot. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't think that. Don't think that. No, oh, don't God. don't think don't think about my iPhone that way. It's my iPhone. You can't have please, it. Please, please. No, 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 no. no Mine. No no no, no. no, 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 no. This iPhone is my girl. You can't have my girl. Screw it. <laughs> so, uh, plan for the next week. Uh, I'm going to be playing through um, some more Splinter Cell coming up next Wednesday. And... We didn't get through that one mission entirely, so we got to finish that up, and we're probably going to jump into a uh, brand new one after that. I don't know. I, I like starting and ending missions on streams, and now I'm, like, off-kilter on that, and now I'm just feeling very, like, self-conscious and itchy about it, because I'm like, I've left us on a cliffhanger, gosh dang it! Anyway, that, that that's enough of a rant for that. All right, that's happening on Wednesday. Saturday, we're going to be moving into some more Kirby uh, Forgotten Land post-game stuff, which, like I said, according to Muffin, apparently it's not even, like, extracurricular. Like, there's actual lore really late content to the endgame stuff, like, to the post-endgame stuff. <laughs> and it's like, why? Dang it, it if, if this wasn't extra, why didn't you put it in the main game? That's like having, like, you know a Mario game and you play through the entire thing and you finally like save Princess Peach and then like you know and, and you fall in love and you you, you uh you're you're happy with each other. It's like yay Princess Peach I, I love you Princess Peach and then the post game it shows you guys having a divorce. Like wait that was important information it's that sometimes people go too fast and they go Oh, no, I don't have anything else to play. Now what do I do? Do I just go play it again? Sometimes games are too short. Also, That's true, too. It yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what what game. I'm sure there's probably another game that I've played that uh, was similar to that. I think the first game that I, I did that really hardcore with was Undertale, where I just kept on quitting. Not, not I because, quit. not Boom. because I hated the game or anything, <laughs> but it was because I was like, huh, well, that was an interesting experience. I guess I'm done. And then my buddy kept on going, you're not done. I'm like, what? What do you mean I'm not done? It's so like, there's another ending. It's like, what do you mean there's another ending? Oh yeah, there's another ending. There's, no, there's more secrets. There's more secrets. There's more secrets. Right. Most and I'm just like, how significant could it be? Like, it, it, it's you, probably just going to add an extra check mark to whatever I did. And it's like, no, I won't play it again. It's like, fine, whatever. And then I come back and I'm like, my world is different now. You'd be surprised how dark and messed up Kirby lore gets. I've heard, and I'm looking forward to finally like getting a taste of it. Oh, yeah, it's great. Um, ah, and we will Kirby be doing lore. that next Saturday. Hopefully next Sunday I will actually be doing farming. But who the heck knows? We might play shuffleboard. I don't know. Maybe I make play one, one of these and then, Discord and then suddenly, games. <laughs> just suddenly, Discord game happens. What kind of Discord games are even like available, anyways? Does Discord have shuffleboard? Uh, they have Garden Phone, how many... Chef Showdown, Putt Party, Chess, wah, Poker. Nah. No. Whiteboard. <laughs> That, this game called Know What I Meme, which I don't know. There's there's a part of me that gets very angry just reading that. Hey, how you do, fellow kids? Um, hey, bit. Guess what? What? Dis Discord has shuffleboard. What? What? what I was mean? just. I was just. Um, here, bashing. let me just uh, DM um, this to you really quick in Discord. Here you go. Huh? Hold the phone. It's called Bobble Bash. Oh, th oh, that's what that is? It says, think shuffleboard meets bumper cars. It literally says that. What the hell, man? So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Maybe if we have enough people. I still need to do a Jackbox night. I've been really yeah. putting that off. Um, and, I mean, we've been doing these casual streams for so freaking long. We might as well just plan one. 
like f for the love of all that is holy i need to pick a day when like people are available and just let them know that a jackbox thing is happening on a sunday especially since i don't think i've played the um party pack 10 stuff i should because i i own it i mean like we're, we're slowly starting to reach october and they're probably going to release another one Ugh. all right Anyway, yeah, that will do it for the stream tonight. This has been fun. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Yay. Yeah. Yep. Right. See you later, everybody. Bye. See you. Bye, everyone. Done!